plus. <laughs> Lunk plus. It's gonna hurry the fuck up. Yeah, hurry up, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right. Um, I'm gonna put some different thing here. Let's end it because. All right. Hello, hello. Share. No, this one. Share. Uh, send us message. To Ryan Foster. Right, to Ryan dot com. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's share this to the main page as well. We got one person watching. Hello, hello, who, who here, man? We're starting a little early tonight, but fucking who cares? Hey, yo, ask us questions. That's the main thing you need to do is ask us any question you want. No question is out of bounds. Sorry. It's not like it's all about fucking uh, music strictly. Hmm. No question's a stupid question unless you're fucking stupid. Basically. Exactly. If you're asking what's one plus one. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Twenty one. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's fucking sad. Uh, this this is all the alcohol I've got. This is all I've got. Fucking sad. Hey, if Rebecca and Bria are on stream, go haywire with your questions. Mm-hmm. Let's get these questions going. Just put them in the uh, comment part. Take my sunnies off. Stream. We literally, like, just got in the door, so that's why I still got the sunnies on my damn shirt and shit. I've been listening to fucking music in the shops. Usually in my own music. What music do you listen to when you're... Like by yourself, like what music, what sort of music do you actually like listen to that you enjoy? Other than my own, yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> just a, a lot of R and B, really. But I've I've started expanding it a bit now because, especially doing reaction videos, like I've started expanding to different shit that I probably wouldn't usually listen to. Um, Come on, Bree, you know. let's go haywire with your questions. I want you to ask the most fucking creative. What's up, Rebecca? Question you can think of. I want you to have fun. Ask a question that you want to be answered to. Oh. That's the key, right? So that you actually want to watch. Wait, but they don't know me, so they don't. So I don't even know what they want to know about me. We'll get um <laughs> related to me, so. Huh? They're actually related to me. Okay, cool. Yeah, part cool. of the family. I've never met them though. Fair enough. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Unfortunately, because like they're sick as fuck. Yeah. Like, Bree's a bodybuilder. Like, I don't know if he's a bodybuilder, but he's, he's a stocky cunt. That's dope. Very stocky. Hey, Michaela, what's up? Hey, what up? Ask us questions. Any questions you want to ask us? Yeah. Did you see my stream with Nicola the other night? I gig. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like a random stream. So basically, she said she wanted to go on stream that night. So I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll go on like about like 7 o'clock, maybe 8 o'clock at the latest. Um, she came home at about 7.30. I'm like, okay, cool. She went and sat on Minecraft for like an hour and a half. And then at 10 o'clock, she's like, okay, so we're we going on stream? Uh. I'm just like, <laughs> this 10 o'clock girl, who's going to watch? She's like, <laughs> so cute, yeah. yeah. She is. <laughs> Uh, but no, it was cool. Like, she did some singing and stuff. It was cool. Yeah, I, I saw that. Yeah. She's got that bag. Yeah. yeah. Definitely something to work with, for cool. sure. Yeah. It's funny. She's she's like, oh, uh, I was, I'm going to sing Godzilla. I'm just like, okay. I completely forgot how that song started. This is an 11 year old saying, I could swallow a bottle of alcohol <laughs> in a. It's just like, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, you better not be. Rice or noodles? <laughs> Uh, rice. Uh, it depends if you're if you're in the gym, rice. Mm. If you're not in the gym mode, noodles. Mm. It's easier. I like rice too much, honestly. Like, if if it's like jasmine oh, rice, rice can make you fat. Oh, oh. fuck! Trust me, I know. But like, <laughs> <laughs> but like, I like rice too much. Like, I jasmine rice. Like, I I I cook jasmine rice. 
and like there'd be just some left over no like curry or anything left over i would just eat the rice like by itself and i was and i'm fine with that like it tastes good to me like <laughs> but yeah man so, so definitely rice for me hey yo rebecca where's your fucking questions at yeah where you at you haven't commented in two minutes yeah, where you, you at you, yeah let's stop let's let's get some questions going guys where they at no man down where you from can't say that word okay <laughs> and where's Bree? is Bree even watching let me know let me know if Bree's watching this right now hmm. Bree. Bree. <laughs> oh. by the way for those followers of my channel that are watching i I just hit this, I'm sorry. But um, I will say my video for tomorrow morning is going to be a little late. It's, it might even be tomorrow afternoon because I actually, unfortunately, haven't shot it yet. So <laughs> um, it's probably not going to be out at 10. It's going to be out. I'll still probably get up early to shoot it, but um, it's it might be out by about lunchtime. We'll see. Um, yeah. I, I've I've been disorganized this week because I was because I'm planning to do something different on Friday, which you, you're probably gonna think this is fucking weird, but I'm gonna do a chicken nugget taste test. All right, <laughs> literally I'm gonna be comparing McDonald's, Hungry Jack's, KFC, uh, Red Rooster chicken treat, and uh, like Steggles or Ingham's from Coles, and I'm gonna be doing it like NFL draft style. It's content. It's content. Exactly, it's fucking content. I don't care. No, I do care. But I want to do something different because, like, because I feel kind of bad because last week it was literally all just reaction videos, and usually, like, I break it up with like a gaming video or something. But this week I want to do something different. Um, and there's not really any games that I really want to play on the channel, so we'll do a chicken nugget taste test. I'm a fat fuck, so this, it'll, it'll make sense. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I put on like eight fucking kilos since since isolation. It's annoying the crap really? out of me. Really? Yeah. Jeez. I've yeah. actually lost weight since isolation. Man. Because I was always I always stayed inside, but since isolation started, I was like, I'm gonna get fat if I do nothing, so I, I go for a run. Yeah, but like, I usually go to the gym and I usually like fucking yeah, pedal, pedal my heart out, and now the gym's closed and there's still no opening. They. St Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Ask us questions. Don't, like, if Bree hasn't asked us anything yet, I don't know if he's got, if he's still thinking, but, like, you ask a question, Rebecca. Y'all are probably going to leave because I'm weird as hell. Like, sometimes I just be looking at the camera, just... Rebecca, ask, <laughs> ask, like I said, I said to you, you can ask, there's no, uh, limits. There's no, uh, questions that are out of bounds. Uh-huh. We're not just uh, fucking tunnel vision. Oh, you have to ask us about fucking what we do, our music and stuff. No, ask us personal shit. Ask us yeah. like shit. Yeah, one and a half inches, by the way. And we um, we, we <laughs> have me and Jane. <laughs> <laughs> me and Jane have this. Uh, it's pretty much set in stone. I think that if we can't answer your fucking question, we will drink. Mm -hmm. But so far, that is rare. It's rare yes. that we don't like, answer your question. Exactly. And it it it, hope, it better be rare because this, this is all the this is all the fireball that I got, liquid gold, man, liquid gold. All right. I fucking love fireball, boy. I may as well call it fucking big red alcoholic version. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Alex? Yo, what's up, Alex? You see Naomi Cipher? Uh, he's been on the stream. Has he been on the stream? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's up, man? Ask us questions. You're trying. I think they're coming up with a uh, really fucked up. I think, ones. Yeah, yeah, I think Rebecca and Bria are formulating some work, uh, some serious shit. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, That's what we want. <laughs> Oi, bro. Yeah. I've got Netflix right, and they are uh, they uploaded to Netflix of uh, the 2003 Hulk movie with Eric Banner. Yeah. Isn't, honestly, isn't that one of the greatest fucking movies ever? It's, it's my favourite one. It's, I... I Eric, 
banger, 2003 Hulk, I've always thought is one of the greatest movies ever, and honestly, there's never been a Hulk that even fucking compares to that one. Eric Banner to me is the fucking Hulk, and just the, the way they, the CGI for 2003 is ridiculous. Yeah. It's so good. It looks like he's really fucking there. Yeah, man. Like, I the Edward Norton Hulk didn't do it for me, I don't know why. Mark Ruffalo is cool. Like, Eric I, Banner's the best one. Yeah, I think Eric Banner's definitely the best one. I I think Mark Ruffalo is, he's he's cool and he does he does a decent job, but Eric Banner's definitely the best one to me. Oh yeah, bro. And I love how he gets angry. He's like, when I was a kid watching his shit, right, watching a two thousand three Hulk, I was like, whip him. I was like, yeah, <laughs> I'm going very green. I'm going fucking. I'm getting I'm angry like, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I held way too way. I way to be the Hulk so fucking bad. But I became a bodybuilder instead. Yeah. <laughs> Second day. Breezy wants to know, have you ever had a pull halfway through a set? Um, a pull what? What does that mean? Like, a, have I pulled a muscle? You need to specify that one. Get my brother to bring me my other Deadpool glass so we can both have a glass. I think I've still got have mine down here. Have you ever had a pool halfway through a set? Like, I, I think he means. A, oh, I think he like means a, like. A pool? Yeah. Oh, oh a wank. <laughs> no. Um, no. That's what groupies afterwards are for. Well, okay? Have I had a wank okay. in, <laughs> a wank in a gym? 100% yes, I have. Because who doesn't train legs and get horny right afterwards? Have you have I you trained legs before? No, not really. All right, <laughs> any bodybuilders who are watching, which is probably zero, unless Bree's watching, when you fucking train legs, you get fucking horny as fuck, and you go wank in the gym before you fucking leave. Sorry, it's just a fact of life. Sorry. Mm. Not like in, like in the toilet, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, not, half halfway. Not on the bench. <laughs> okay, so he's saying halfway through a set at the gym. Okay, so I, I thought he meant like halfway through a set, like a live performance <laughs> set. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he means you can. What the fuck? What did you think? Of? Oh no, bro. Oh, no, totally at your gym, bro. Imagine that shit, just ooh. Yo, Samuel, ask us questions, bro. Samuel's on the stream. This uh, is uh, Jay and Jesse, bro. What's up? Ask us personal questions. We have a question you want to know the fucking answer to. <laughs> so, yes, uh, Bree definitely had pulls in the gym. No doubt in that, especially when you train legs. I don't know why. It just happened. Sorry. But anyway. Anyway, <laughs> I, I just do long stares at the camera sometimes, just because it's fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but now it's uh, it's Rebecca's turn to ask the question. So, you got you guys take turns, take turns, go back and forth with each other. All right. Did you answer your question? Yeah. Which one? The pull at the gym. Yeah. No, just. No. No. <laughs> You've never had a wank at the gym? No. Never once? No. Bro, are you serious? No, I haven't. Are you kidding me? When I go to the gym, it's usually like... You've never wanked at your gym. You're telling me right now, yeah. pretending the cameras are up. No, I haven't. Because I, I go to a leisure place. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. I go to a leisure place. I'm a weirdo, a... yeah. I go to a leisure place where there's like fucking old biddies around and shit, like people doing fucking, um, fucking rehabilitation for broken knees and shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just get a good geese at them and use that for mental image. Well, that's, well, that's the thing, like, I'm, I'm on the fucking, fucking bike thingy, so if I'm doing that and just... Uh, I don't know. When, when I was younger, it was more so, because I, I started going to the gym when I was like 15, and it was like... I used I train on the machines and like the treadmills are right in front and there's chicks with like giant arses like fucking yeah. on me and I'm I'm just like no nah, I can't leave this gym without having a wank before I leave like it's just not happening. Like don't get me wrong like I tend to see a lot of like really there's there's some really cute Asian girls with like cute 
like kind of small asses, but like the cute asses. Yeah. Like I see a lot of those. Hey, we got nine people. Hey, you just got, you just <laughs> Yo, you just heard I me talk. I told you we get fucking people on this time. You just heard me talking about Asian asses. Nice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we out here. <laughs> Wait, you you ten people. You can all yeah, ask money. questions, man, and we'll uh, we'll answer all your questions. Anything and everything. Anything and every what, literally what he just fucking said. Mm-hmm. Nothing mm-hmm. is off limits, man. Nothing. So. I did already say one and a half inches earlier, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> leave that up to interpretation. Bro, what do you mean, bro? I'm ingrown, bro. <laughs> what? Mine is <laughs> inverted. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> like when a bitch t- asks me if I can insert my thing, I say I'm it's like, always inserted. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm concave, motherfucker. <laughs> can, can you insert in? Me? It's like can you insert? I have twenty four seven, baby. I, I gotta I gotta ask them to insert. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is already, like, I, I'm kind of, okay, so. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, so basically, my, my dad does, like, like, a radio show on Facebook, um, on, uh, on, like, an Indian page, and he wanted me to put my live streams over there as well. It's a lot of older Indian people. I don't know if I should put this one there as well. <laughs> you know what? It depends. Yeah. If you give a fuck. Mm. That's the only separating factor. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like, just... <laughs> the, the, like, I don't give a fuck if it how it makes me look, but the fact that he's kind of like a celebrity in their eyes, like, I don't want to ruin his if rap. You, look, if you're comfortable in yourself and you think that the majority of people are going to like it, post yeah. it. And I think this is big shit. Like, uh, like real. Yeah. If, uh, unless you're fake and you don't want to fucking admit your flaws and you don't want to fucking... Yeah, Swag. like it's not, it's the, it's not that like I don't give a fuck how it makes me look. I just give a fuck how it makes him look, because he's kind of a celebrity in there, and they're very like you know goody goody kind of shit. Yeah. But then also, like this chick that streams on there, as soon as they come on, there's this these fucking sleazy Indian man going, "Show us your tits, <laughs> show us your tits." <laughs> so I don't know, mate. How many likes? Yeah, you got a page? What? How many likes did you got? Well, I'm one of the admins for it now, so let's see. Rebecca, ask questions, man. Like, where's the questions? Like, yeah, man. No, no. We've got 11 people here. Nobody talking. Yeah, we got 11 people here. And none of you are asking shit. I guess they're just, like, laughing at what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> they got 3.3 thousand followers. Ah, that's impressive, actually. Yeah. Really impressive. So, I don't know. Especially for the <laughs> image quality of that cover photo. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes. Because <laughs> uh, that, that's my pappy. Oh, right. Right. That's Are you a, serious? Yeah, that's my dad. No shit. Yeah, that's my dad. Fuck, so that mixed with your mum mate too. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. That's why I had this ever since you know me. It's fucking beard. Oh, that... my, my, my mate just said you so many questions. How are you not seeing it? You motherfucker! You dig not just do that, bro. Would you... Alright. Would you kiss Krabby? The Krabby yeah. Paggy? I would kiss the Krabby Paggy. <laughs> I don't know what Krabby is. But here we go. Okay, it's back. Do you know the importance of today's date? What day is it today? Uh, 26th of May. Uh, it is... It's not Jesus' birthday, so it doesn't matter anymore. Oh my god. I, we didn't see you, your fucking questions. I hope you know that we just scrolled and saw your questions. Yeah, sometimes Facebook doesn't d- like keep going with real yeah. time. It's annoying. We're really fucking sorry. Um, uh, d- no, we don't. You need to tell us. Uh, why'd you shave your beard? I guess that's me. You. Um, yeah, well, well, both of us did. So. Um, because I actually don't even know, bro. So basically, <laughs> we got together one day and we were like, "It's a fetish thing." We both decided to shave our beards. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> No, um, um, it was a spontaneous decision, like, always. I I, I only ever shave my beard because it's spontaneous. Like, it's never like, oh, I hate my beard. Like, I don't know. Uh, let's see, um... Would you hook up on camera if I sent you some wounds? Uh, it'd have to be at least a mil. 
Actually, like 200 Gs. 200 Gs, I think, is like a like cushiony but spot. But what the fuck is Moons mean? Because to me, a Muns. Moon is a root. Muns. So it's not Moons, it's Muns. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which which is wrong anyway, because me... Muns, it would be spelled with an O. If you gave me, like... Enough money, I would literally do anything. Like, it, I, I have no morals if you give me enough money. Look, I'm not receiving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a pitcher, not a catcher. Okay? Hey, you'll <laughs> be new dropping soon, brother. Hey, Cassie, um... I don't, I, I don't know if you could say soon, but there's a fucking project on the way. Hibernation, the mixtape. Oh, yeah. The hibernation <laughs> mixtape is dropping real soon. 29th. <laughs> yeah, 26. Three days, bro. All right, I'll promo your shit for you. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Be on uh, Cypher Music or um, my profile. In, or he'll probably promote it for me. Oh, hell yeah. I'll be sharing <laughs> that three shit. three days. I'll be so, sharing that shit. I'm on that shit. Yeah, exactly. He's on the shit. He's yeah, on... Uh, yeah, So... Uh, let's see. Answer, your, answer my question, dog. What's yeah. Riley Griffiths? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would. I would tell you what for enough, mate. Nice leather jacket, bro. Uh, Thanks, in your, bro. In your opinion, who is the best rapper of all time? Eminem. Yeah, Eminem. Eminem, a hundred percent. There's no doubt about that. So the weird thing is, like, I, so I. Oh, I, sorry, guy. It's sorry, guy. I'm yeah. sorry, Aboriginal. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Um, sorry. But then like, my ancestors fucking dig whatever guy dig. The thing with like, with so a lot of people say in their like top five, they say like Tupac and Biggie, but the issue with I don't get that. I. I, I like Tupac and Biggie. I, I honestly no, fucking... don't think they're that. Like, yeah, out there, you fuck. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Like, I, I like Tupac and Biggie. I think they made gr- good music when they were still alive. But you've also got to think about it. Tupac was shot the year before that I, be- year before I was born. So, like, is way out of out of my age range, man. Thoughts on MGK diss track? I'll give my thoughts first. Okay. All right. My thoughts on uh. MGK diss track is that it's really good for MGK. Um, I also, it's mixed because I think that Eminem beat him, but only slightly. I think that MGK's track was pretty comparable only because it's Eminem in his old age and he's not as good as he used to be. I think Eminem, 20 years ago, MGK wouldn't have even said anything to him because Eminem 20 years ago would completely obliterate him. That, that's my opinion. Even so, like, he's older, uh, he's not as, uh, he's, he's different, and he's still big. So you can say that. Yes. Uh, is well, Tupac still alive? I, I still gotta answer, no, I still gotta answer that shit. What? I guess, oh, shit. Yeah! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Alright. <laughs> Do you hate average? <laughs> no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Hell no. no. I mean, I don't know. I've, I've been, uh, I've been attacked by Aboriginals in the past, but I don't hate Aboriginals. Mm. I mean, I got fucking cousins who are Aboriginal. Yeah. I can't say I'm fucking. I'm not racist. Put it that way. But I've definitely been like fucking. Uh, I've had bad experiences. Yeah. For sure. Every. I think a lot of people can say that, especially yeah. people who are living like the areas we live in. Yeah. Um. So yeah, my thoughts on the MGK diss track. I. So basically, I think it's the best reply to Eminem. That has has ever come across. He's, he's he's the only one who's really held his own to to an extent. But the issue that I have with it is that so Killshot had way more multi-syllable rhymes, had way more double entendres and triple entendres and quadruple entendres. Um, Killshot had way more research. It seems in, into into it. I mean, uh, Rap Devil was more just like you know, oh, like you're old. Your last albums weren't that good. You know, like, yeah. there wasn't much research done into it, but Eminem's, like, research and shit. Um, but, yeah, Eminem man. Eminem is a little joke. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you have... <laughs> you, wait, what, is, what does that mean? Do you know what that means? Or is he just, like, this and Eminem? I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. Because um, if you're comparing to MGK... No, he's like, just taking pics. Okay. Because what, if you compare it to MGK, MGK's fucking tweet. What are your thoughts on uh, Octopus getting his whole butt? Um, I actually don't even... I, I didn't even uh, know the name of him until he died. Like, 100% being honest. I mean, like... Oh, is he rap is for donkeys? Thank you. I agree. <laughs> I totally fucking agree. 
I mean, uh, uh, if, if uh, assuming that you mean the generic flow of like the Aussie rap like circle. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. That that's why I fuck with Ryan so much because he he doesn't stick into that same shit. No. Like, I don't I don't mind some of it and some of it's okay when it comes out, but like when it's just repetitive as fuck, it's just like nah. Like that that's why I fuck with Ryan so heavy. I agree, Riley. You're fucking a hundred percent on the ball, right here, bro. Triple X though, like I, I didn't. So I, di I didn't like him when he first came out. Hundred percent hated, hated everything that he put out when I, he first came out. I, I didn't hear about him until he died. Same with Little Peep or any, like people who die. I, that's when I hear about him. Like, like Matt Miller. Never heard of him until he died. I listened to Triple X's album, like the the album that he put out literally just before he died. I listened to that album and I liked it because it was like very R and B and he was actually singing and it sounded really cool. Um, but other than that, like, it just wasn't for me. Oh, yeah, bro. Bogey. Bro, his name's actually Bogey, not Bogey. Yeah. Oh, he's a dog in general. You know, I can't even say that you're inaccurate on that one. You're, you're actually pretty, you know. Yeah. We, yeah. What, well, like, let's, let's sum up, like, what he would mean in that, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was just doing random shit. <laughs> How many fucking people in Australia? All right, let's say I fucking have a song tomorrow that's hell good. That I think it's hell good. And my friends think it's hell good. I put it on an Australian hip hop forum on Facebook, right? There will be people who will fucking say, "Oh, I hate that," or "You're a shit cunt," just because they're Australian and they're fucking introvert and they're insecure. That mm. doesn't happen with like Americans. If you post on an American site, that's only Australia. Oh, I, I actually, I, yeah, it's fucked up. There's a lot of fucked up Australians, and it's fucking embarrassing. I will sweep you, bruh. Come on, bruh. Let's get in the ring, bruh. <laughs> Let's get in the ring. I want to uh, get you in the gym. Let's go in the gym and fucking have, like, a bench contest, bro. When I get big again, because right now I'm tiny, I'm, like, 80 kilos, but when I go back to the gym, I'll probably be, like, 97 kilos in, like, three weeks. Thoughts on Vin Diesel? Thoughts on Vin... Fucking... Are you kidding me, bro? That fucking sloppy piece of spaghetti bog. Are you kidding me? What? What's wrong with Vin Diesel? He's a fucking loser, bro. He's got, like, no muscle What's this... Alright, this is oh, coming okay. from someone who was a body bug. Okay, yeah. Come, come, okay, from that perspective, he's okay. He's a shit fucking loser, faggot cunt. I haven't got a dog in that fight, so, like, that ain't no, my he's, thing. No, I respect him for, like, what he does. Like, I'm sure he's a like nice a guy, but... Like, they, like, they exaggerate his so. fucking physique. He's oh, not, yeah. No, fucking, yeah. No, fuck Vin Diesel. Yeah, like, if, if he was actually in that fight with The Rock in, in Bro, Fast and Furious, The Rock would have killed him, honestly. I would fucking stomp Vin Diesel's skull into oblivion. Mm -hmm. Like, fucking fat motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> thoughts on Mark Hunt? Who's, Who's Mark Hunt? I don't no, know who that is. Uh, thoughts on you guys being on <laughs> fag trolls. <laughs> Are you on uh, full time or part time? Uh, Depe part time it depends. <laughs> it depends about. It depends on the pay, honestly. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> if 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 the bag is right, if the bag is right, go for the bags. No, I'm kidding. Or if Blake, <laughs> if Blake's watching, ask more questions, bro. And like Rebecca, all of you. All of you motherfuckers, keep asking questions. Come on, let's get the fuck. Let me just make roll. sure. Okay, no, there's no more scrolling down, so you're gonna say that this time. Yeah, it's, right. it, it's on you now. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Bangingy Triple C, what does that mean? Is that a wrestling move? Probably. Yeah. I don't know nothing. <laughs> my, my damn stomach was making some noises. Oh, oh sweet, yeah, I love that one. What? Oh, sweet shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I don't even have my phone. Mom's still got my phone. Thoughts on Mark Hunt. I'm trying to think if he, like, if that's like a play on words, like, my cunt, Mark Hunt, I don't know. My Mark Hunt. Yeah, if it was Mike, it'd make more sense, I think. Yeah. Thoughts on my cunt. Thoughts on Mark Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Mark Hunt is, is like... Thoughts on Mark Hunt? Sounding. Like a play on words. Mark Hunt? 
<laughs> Batman or Superman? Superman. Yeah, Superman. Oh, there's a few things you got to take into consideration. Superman can only be killed with Krypton, so he's basically immortal. In other words, he's got superpowers. He can fucking fly. He's ultra strong. Batman is a regular human with a lot of money who bought a lot of gadgets. So Superman would just rip him straight. Basically the same reason why I don't agree with people who are, who are like, oh, Iron Man's my favourite superhero. No, like, he's, he's a fucking, he's a rich dude who who made a suit. Like, yeah, he's smart as fuck, but he's, you he's know, a rich dude who made a suit. You know it's a good fucking matchup? Hmm. Superman versus the Hulk, because how you kill the Hulk? Yeah, exactly. How, you can't. You, yeah. How the fuck do you kill the Hulk? Yeah. You can't. And, and they got, like... Similar powers, like, they're both super strong, right? Superman can fly, but the Hulk can jump ridiculous fucking uh, lengths and, yeah. like, heights. And, like, he can basically fly, too, because the way he jumps, like, that's a good matchup. Mm-hmm. Thoughts on Jazz Harris? Who the fuck is that? Nah, he's a fucking squat cunt. Going on. He's stirring the fuck. <laughs> 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 Motherfucker in the back just went... <laughs> yeah, shit, cunt, bro. He already know what he already knows where I think, bro. Yeah, he's seen me in the group chats and shit. That shit just reminded me of you seen that fucking scary movie where like they walk in to the freaking um outhouse, it's like an Amish town or something, and the chick's like right in front of him, looks like she, the guy's getting a blowjob. He's like, oh yes, yes, Jenna, yes. Oh, you've made butter, and she's just churning butter there. It's just, <laughs> but it looks like she's fucking giving him head. <laughs> oh, that's just what that made me think of. Um, <laughs> Rebecca. I reckon you guys could ask better, like, more fucking, you could ask more imaginative questions. So yes. We're, but, I'm challenging you. But then again, we also, like, quality, we, we, we want quantity over quality, to be honest. Yeah, so, that's true as well. But, Brie, <laughs> uh, Brie, sorry, uh, Brie and Riley. Actually, not sorry, Riley, because Riley knows that out of those three, he would get fucking smashed. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know any of y'all. So if one of your, one of y'all PayPal me twenty bucks, then Brady, I'll, I'll say you. Brady's got okay. nice king agate, so you could be a bodybuilder if you wanted to. But fucking Bree's already big. Like Bree's a full grown man. Bree would, yeah, yeah. But I could. Oh, I'd put my money on Bree, one hundred percent, just because of his frames and shit. Like he'd smash, he'd smash all. I'll but then again, if I came in, I'd be bringing weapons. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, my challenge to you guys watching is uh, ask us a question that uh, we cannot answer. Ask us a question that's so hard to answer that we won't answer. I dare you. I fucking dare you. Wait, but not okay, like, not not like some fucking what's it? Um, not not like some fucking ideology, fucking shit, or something like that. Like, oh no, like some like, if would you rather? Would you do this for a million dollars, or like, would you rather do this or do that, or like, uh, have you ever fucked this in that? Like, you know what I mean? Uh, something like. Not many people have fucked this, so <laughs> you know. <laughs> really, <laughs> like one. So, really? Yeah, I've told you this many times, man. Why do I keep forgetting? It, it doesn't seem like... I don't know. It's just weird. It's uh, crazy. Thoughts on Nick Calypse? Who that? Nick uh, Galips? Um, I don't know who that is, but since his last game is Galips, he's probably a faggot. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Galips. That, that's got to be a fake man. Surely, bro. Girl lips. Come on. But it's probably not. He's probably actually like full on taking the piss out of someone who actually exists. Yeah, that, <laughs> and that poor cunt would have gotten bullied so much. Like, <laughs> you should ask me what I think about what's that cunt's name? Um, 
something for what? Josh for what? It's probably all fucking green. Yeah. Like you, man. Jagan's bro looks like pr pretty similar. Like they they look probably just alike. This this light is like lighting me up like way too much. It's Mo Lesters, mate. <laughs> <You're far. laughs> Wait, where's the questions from other comments? Oh, that's fucking. Uh, oh, thoughts on Nick Gurley? Oh, yeah, he's taking pick four. Murray Lester's. Alright. Rebecca. Let's get another question from you. Let's get another question from Samuel. I don't even know if Samuel's watching. I'll find out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ask you. Alright. And we'll get this. Ask you. So, me fickies. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck that face is. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Ever since I shaved, I can do shit like this. Sorry, bro. Dude, why well, you got three? Like, I'm just. Oh, <laughs> 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 What's wrong with me, man? I got some syndrome, bro. <laughs> Free neck syndrome. Try, try neck syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> they went to Willow, Mo Lesties and Nick Gurley. It's no big ding cunt. Who is your hero? Uh, I can be your hero, baby. <laughs> well, assuming you're taking a piss, my hero is a. Uh... I don't even know. Fuck it. <laughs> but my real hero in real life? I don't know. I don't have a hero. <laughs> That's why I'm so excited. Wow. Like, I really don't give a fuck about those two, but the fucking, how big they are. Yeah. And he's on a song with them, like, ugh. Wow, bro. <sighs> he's anyway. got, he's got a giant fucking feature coming from a cunt who's pretty much famous, bro. He's, he's got a feature with someone who's uh, pretty much famous, so. Yeah. Uh, you be on the lookout for that, but I don't want to spoil any secrets, so. Just uh, as a as a as a bit of a t a uh, what is it tease, uh, just under a million subscribers on YouTube. So, but yeah, switching up remix coming soon, very soon. In like maybe a month's time. Um, <laughs> I'm just doing this shit. So what's on Vishnuram? Fucking uh, sick cunt, bro. Fisher of sick. He's he's uh, one guy that you can't beat in an arm wrestle. Even you don't uh, underestimate Vish. Uh, who's your first fight? Sick name, by the way. Uh, her name was Sarah. What about you, bro? Uh, her name was Chloe. Mm. Okay. So Sarah, Chloe. <laughs> What's something you regret doing in your childhood? Uh, kissing a boy. What about you? Um. Actually. I think I've yeah, said, kissing a boy. I think I've said this before, but I, I regret, I think I was like eight years old or something, and I, I, I ran out um, out the front completely naked just after the postman came. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just after the postie came. That was that was funny. And I, <laughs> I, I fucking waved to him and everything. That's funny as fuck. Yeah. The guy used fucking embarrassing dude. What? I'm not even going to lie, bro. Yeah. <laughs> fuck so, it. Um, so you're saying I wouldn't do it now? You saying the old man would have? <laughs> but the I'll, I would do it now, but it doesn't mean it's more embarrassing. Yeah, that's and, true. And it also depends on how embarrassed you feel. Like yeah. something uh, uh, more em like if you if you do something and you don't care about it, yeah. then it's more embarrassing. Yeah, you know well, what I mean. Well, that's the thing. Like I like when my mum used to bring it up. Like I used to be like, no, 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 just like stop that. No, no you stop saying it. Through. I was like, uh, right now. Well, obviously, I'm <laughs> obviously I, I know now that I'm straight as fuck. But when I, when I was like a little kid, I was like. I don't know. I must have been confused. I was like uh, six, seven years old. Nothing wrong with curiosity. I was friends with uh, this uh, kid, and we do like good luck kisses. And it was your boy. But I didn't know it was wrong until his mum fucking laughed her ass off when she saw her foot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. 
Cigarettes. Well, honestly, like when when you're just kids, it's it's kind of just like oh, that's, you don't even know it's wrong. Like, yeah. you don't give a fuck. Like, and and adults are probably just think, oh, that's cute. They're good friends. Like, that's fine. Like, <laughs> but then they just fucking turn into fucking Kevin Hart. Just like, I saw I saw my I saw my son grinding on a boy. I'm just like, no, stop it. I that's kissed, gay. Bro, uh, like. <laughs> I mean, I have I kissed a dude when I was older as well. I was, I was fucking wasted, right? And I was at a club in the city, and there was this tranny. Mm-hmm. That was like a cross... Like, he looked like a fucking hot girl, but it was a yeah. guy. And I was telling him how hot he was, because he was a tranny. Yeah. And I was, like, shocked that he looked so, like, like a hot girl. Yeah. And then he just came up to me and fucking made out with me. Yeah. And I was like... after uh, Then I woke up the next morning, I was like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Would you rather be raped by four dudes one time or raped by one dude on four? Uh, that's, that's, a hard, that's a hard one, bro. Because it depends if you if they're dipping in the same hole. <laughs> that's fucking funny. What were your thoughts on... I don't like Trace Harris. You already fucking know that, bro. So don't even like... Um, because she'll, if she asked me what I thought about her, I'd say the same thing. Right? Are you having some too? Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> because I, yeah, I don't think you're answering that one. Or you maybe. I not. think, bro, no one likes her, bitch. Let's be serious, bro. No one likes her. So why? Yeah, a little bit more. Um, raped by one. I, I'd probably ra- rather be raped by one dude on four separate occasions, just because. Uh, if I got raped by four dudes at once, it would probably be more traumatizing. Just, just <laughs> finish this shit. Oi, yo, Boisman, ask us a question, bro. Oi, you, you know, I asked you, I told you, you gotta ask something fucking creative, so come up with it. Just figure it out. Aaron, what's up? Oh, wait, yeah, you've been here, you asked that rape question, okay. <laughs> yeah, you wanna be known as that dude, the, the dude who asked the rape question. That's fucking great. Alright. <laughs> wait, Diggy, was he the one who asked that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Aaron Carl. Yeah. Carl! Carl! His name's actually uh, Aaron Boyzman. Sick name, man. And he's actually a really good uh, singer. Like, actually. Fuck yeah, man. Yeah. How many chickens will it take to kill an elephant? Uh, I'd say about. Honestly, what would you say? Uh, I'd, I'd say at least 500. I'd say that no matter how many chickens you have, it couldn't kill an elephant. Yeah, well, that's possibly. Hey, Nicola. <laughs> that's my answer. Nicola. Yo, what's up, Nicola? <laughs> and where's your mum? We need you guys on so that you can ask. Because you guys usually ask pretty good questions, so. Damn straight. Um, And we need... It's a legacy. I don't know if Rebecca's yeah. on, but if, if you are on, Rebecca, and uh, if Bree's on, let us know and uh, ask more questions. Yeah, you, and you, what... Just uh, keep us reassured that you guys are wrong by asking questions. Because if you're going to ask questions, I'm going to think you dogged me, bruh. No. <laughs> Don't do it. Dog activist, bruh. Dog activist. Don't dog. Depends how hard you throw. Them. Bro, honestly, I don't know. I, I think no matter how many chickens you have, you couldn't kill an elephant. Because I think, like, Maybe it, it's, it's I think the same goes for a lot of animals bigger than mm. chicken like i think if like there's not enough like i think even i don't know what's bigger than a chicken what where are animals are bigger than chicken ostrich <laughs> yeah i think no matter how many ostriches you have it wouldn't kill an elephant no you know what i mean so but then again you get you get you get el tigre in and it's it's possible. Like maybe like four or five tigers would would could fuck up an elephant maybe. And I'm getting messages from people that are saying they don't know what to ask. Serious? Don't take it that serious. Yeah. Ask anything, man. Mm. Something funny. Anything funny. Anything uh ridiculous. Anything personal. Something like. But you're like, oh my god, you just got to fucking kill, bro. Oh. I'll answer anything, and I'm sure he will too. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. It makes your fucking stream interesting. So. Exactly. I mean, when, but then again, when it comes to how many how many apples I've had in my ass, like I might not answer that. I don't know, um, because it's 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 a lot. 
I'm, 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 I'm kidding, but you know. Thoughts on Josh. So yo, we got good questions coming from uh, thoughts on Josh Tier. I fucking love Josh, bro. I, I, like when when I first went to Willow, I had two real people that I could relate to fully. That was Josh and uh, Liam. Liam would just be, and me. We were like a trio for a while. So Josh is always in my good books. I fucking love Josh too. This is not even like a a, a rude question. Not trying to be anyway. But uh, was it Wojcicki that you said? Yeah, Wojcicki. Is is he is he of uh, Jewish faith? It sounds like a Jewish name to me. Hmm. Possible, it's possible. Not even meant as disrespect. You know, I'm a Jew, right? I'm actually, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm a, lo- a, like, a lot of me is Jew, and like my last name should actually be Meyer. It's only fucked up because my dad had a stepdad and he got his last name, but yeah. my last name should be Meyer. But I'm glad it's not because Ryan Myers is a fucking shitty name, anyway. Um, Samuel's asking good questions, Riley's asking good questions, Riley Griffith. Oh, oh you know, all of you are asking good questions, man. All right, you're an inch inside. Oh, no. Oh god! All right, you're an inch inside your mom, and your dad's an inch inside to you. Uh, and in order to escape, you go forward or back. Can I? Only go, <laughs> can I? Can I only go forward or back? Because if I go sideways, like both of us are gonna slip out. <laughs> oh man, that's bad, bro. Yeah, that's actually you. That's very fucking creative. Props to that. It is very fucking creative, but with that question, I'm kind of glad. That I didn't share it to my dad's page. <laughs> I go, I you know, I go, uh. God, I don't know. I think I go forward just because it's less bad. And I'm straight. Yeah. That's the only, that's the only reason. Either, either way, it's fucked up. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, if, if you're really in that very <laughs> peculiar situation for no, no fault of your own. That, yeah, that'd be the way. <laughs> What's your preferred body exercise? Um, well, I've never actually told a lot of people, but when I was a bodybuilder, the biggest I ever got was 97 kilos, and my favorite muscle groups, I had two, and my favorite muscle groups were triceps, which is the back of the arm, which makes up two thirds of your arm, and the calves. And uh, my favorite exercises for triceps were anything push down. Like V bar push down with cables and the skull crushes and you know, car phrases and shit. No, no, I, I always felt good when I did uh, push downs for triceps. That's a really, it feels good. It's not fucking hard to do and you get a good pump. So, yeah. I only really do the exercise <laughs> bike, the recline bike. Samuel's pissing himself, so. That's always good. I'll move this over here. So and you know, we're, we're waiting. Uh, I think we're waiting on a uh, question from Bree, Rebecca, Samuel. Really, we're, we're you are all actually you're doing well. You you're actually all doing very well. So damn straight. Props. Roll up my sleeve. Um. Sorry, I just but It wasn't your fault, it was mine. So it's all good. Don't blame yourself. I know it's hard, but don't blame yourself. You know it's what I mean? Fault. Yeah. It's all my fault. I mean, it's it's technically your fault, but it's my burp. I'll take the blame. I'll do it. I'll, I'll take one for the team. You know? <laughs> 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 okay, uh, truth or dare? Um, I'm gonna I'm go truth. Yeah, I'll go truth too. Go on. And you, okay, so are we gonna do the same one? We have we have to answer the truth no matter what. That's, that's basically yeah. what that entails. Yeah, but are we, are we gonna ask the yeah, same we'll truth? Yeah, we'll answer or? the same okay. truth question, cool. yeah. Yeah, we don't wanna make things and too hard. All of you, come on, let's. Hi, Carrie. Who's Carrie? Uh, she is, uh, my mate's mum. She's very, okay. 
Don't worry, my name is Cypher. You can uh, search me off at Cypher Music or whatever. Well, she just bought my album, so here's here's Cypher track 10. He's, he's on track 10. I'm on, uh, what's the song Don't talk it? to me. Don't talk to me. I'm on that one. <laughs> yeah. One Thank of... you so much for buying that, by the way, Carrie. Thank you. Uh, Wanna lay some tracks with some drops? Can you send me acoustic riffs over the top? Uh, well, I'm guessing Ooh. because you said that, that Brie plays guitar. That's what I gather from that. That sounds titillating. Um. <laughs> so does Brie play guitar? Because that's what I gather from, from what you just said. What's the worst thing you've done in public? Um, hmm. What is the worst thing I've done in public? I mean, the mailman thing was in my driveway, so it's technically not public, I don't think. Um, hmm. Well, masturbation, obviously, isn't great. I've been to you in public. Uh, I've done that quite a bit when I was young. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that'll be sick. Honestly, if I can get, I could, if I could get uh, Bree in the studio, he could track. If he's really good at guitar, so send me some shit, right? And if he's good at it, I can track it. It's possible. You can do that. So, you know. What's the thing we've done in public? I don't fucking know, man. Um. I don't know. I'm it, fucking it square depends. when it comes what, to What's that the shit. worst things you can do in public? I mean, anything sexual or hurting someone. I mean, I bash people. I mean, but that's always public. So, I, what do you mean? I don't know. I mean, I've only made out with somebody in public like a couple of times. Actually, you know, you say that. I think the worst thing I've done in public is sex. Sex in public is pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah. So, I've had sex in public. Yeah. That's pretty bad. So, I would say that. Yeah. Uh, not a problem, you know, I love everything you do, I love your music and your beautiful voice. Oh, thank you, Kerry. I love his beautiful voice, too. <laughs> Keep telling him his voice is beautiful, because I, I honestly think I believe in him more than he believes in himself. Mm, probably. I literally <laughs> believe that. <laughs> Would you rather have finger-sized nips or nip-sized nip fingers? 100%. 100%. I'm not, I'm because I'm proud of... i got little nipples, right? I would not trade them for fucking, I'm so glad I have tiny nipples, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think I would go the same. I, th I thought about the, the finger-sized nips for a second, because I'm just like... Because, like, hand size and feet size, that, that shit honestly doesn't matter to me. And honestly, I have, like, size my own feet, mm. which is perfect for shoes, because mm. when, when shoes get a bigger size... The only thing that's made bigger when you get a bigger shoe size is is the front part that yeah. elongates. And it looks yeah. like shit. If yeah. you have like a size 11, 12 foot, your shoe actually looks worse. It suffers for it. And i got a size 9 foot. All the shoes I wear fucking look sick as fuck. I'm a size 11. And check out... This is size 11. You're a size 11? Yeah. And check this out. This is size 9. Aesthetic. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because this part... Yeah. If I was size uh, 12 or whatever, it would be like out here. You know what yeah. I mean? And you see, because yours is quite long com yeah. in, by comparison. Yeah, well, that's one thing that I found out. Like, so I, I like having small feet. That's one thing I found out when I was looking for dress shoes. Like, every fucking shoe looked so fucking pointy and it was annoying me. If you guys want to know where you get your shoe, you can't because they stopped selling it and it's from France. And I'm fucking lucky I got it, to be honest. Mm. I fucking love your shoes so much. I should have got more, to be honest. Anyway. Yeah, Bree plays guitar. He sent me a fucking guitar shit. Nice. You wanna listen to it? Yeah, let's react to it on the stream. Why not? Yeah, okay. I'll send it to you. Alright, Bree, we're gonna play your shit and react to it on the stream. We're gonna react to it on the stream. You guys are making me laugh. Shit, I, I wear kid size too. That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> dude, really? Dude. That's tiny, dude. Yeah. Jesus. She, no way. She had, the, no. had these fucking kids' shoes that fucking soles lit up and everything, and they fit her perfectly. That's so, fucking ridiculous. It's, uh... You're lucky. You, your shoes probably look better on you for it. Probably. Yeah. I'll send it to you. Oh. Hello, for the three cups of rice and the rice cooker. Um... So... Yo, is Samuel watching? I wanna know. Samuel, are you watching? I know uh, Bree's watching. I know. Uh... I don't know. Is Jordan watching? Uh, Jordan, sure. are you watching, bro? Alright. Let's play shit. 
Okay. Yeah, buddy. Wait, wait, one sec, one sec. I think he sent me another thing to... Attachment unavailable. She, she might have only made it um, available for you. Mm. Hmm. Right, I'll put it on him. Yeah. Raggy! Oh, Raggy, Raggy! Yep, Jordan's here. Yo, yo, yo. Sorry, my phone guy. What was the response to, to what? What was his last question? Uh, let's see. Uh, to, uh, oh, that's inside your mum, dad. Thing. Uh, my response was forward. Yeah, forward. His was too, yeah. Yeah. Because it's less gay, that's the only reason. Yeah. On the very peculiar situation, if that was to happen, which it won't. Fun fact, I play guitar for six years. When I was a kid. We're alive. Yeah? Yeah. That husking voice is dope. Yeah. It's like Nickelback, bro. Honestly, like, from the voice, I'm getting kind of like a Chris Stapleton vibe, man. That's dope. Samuel right, well, first things first, yeah. I know how hard it is to play guitar and sing at the same time. Props for that. And, uh, yeah, man. That's good. That's actually, I, I like that. It's really good shit. You, yeah, you, you got a nice, nice uh, cadence to your voice. The only song I ever was able to play on the guitar and sing at the same time was Miguel's Pussy Is Mine. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so, to Brie, challenge you, bro. Yep, straight up. Um, Don't Brie. Yeah. It is dope. Tell me that the so let's go. Both me, Sammy. I, I want both me and Samuel to ask a question. And I want uh, Carrie. Carrie, ask a question. Tell me, um, tell me, baby. Rebecca, Bree, ask questions. Mine, yeah. Where is Ryan's drink? Uh, go on. It's actually right here. I'm just being a bit of a pussy. I'll drink it. Now that you mention that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just know that we don't have any more. That's the issue. I ain't no chump weight, don't we? Oh. Uh, I don't have any more. <laughs> That's all I got. I, I got. I got to pay for this this feature. I want you guys to know, <laughs> this microphone right here, AT2020, I have the exact same microphone, and I just don't use it because I suck at mixing. That's the only reason. I'm not, not doing I'm a, that. I, I'm actually better <laughs> at mixing a shitter microphone. I, I use the Blue Yeti. Well, but but any but regardless, I don't use any mics at home anymore because I go to the studio because yes. I'm a fucking professional. Yeah. So yeah. Chan, I'm not professional because I do all my shit at home. Gapping up in the world now. Hey, <laughs> what did you say? I said you saying I'm not professional because I do all my shit at home. Nah, of course not. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm fucking. Well, like, I'm, I'm messy. I'm messy here early today. Yeah, I said I can get you in the studio. Yeah, for I know. Good, for good fucking rates, right? So. Yeah, I know. I'm just I'm still tight for cash. That's the issue. I am too. Yeah. I am literally the poorest cunt that's ever lived on this fucking planet. Like, I, I get like, I get like, just under 900 bucks a fortnight. And like. They, you have red wine. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ooh, we have red wine. Okay, sure, I guess, but. Hallelujah. But you know what happened last time Ryan drank red wine here. Hallelujah. Let's, oh, not, let's not talk about that. Shut the fuck let's up. Not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> let's not talk about that. Oh, yeah, yeah no. Nah. True. No, it's true. Um, <laughs> right, would you rather bang a syphilis-ridden granny or 
Alright, syphilis green rain. I got the going on my mind here. Oh. Would I rather ban a syphilis green rain or angle with tie hookers not knowing whether she is a uh, angle with a tie hooker because I'm not fucking with that shit. Uh huh. And if yeah. I think she's a girl and I never know whether she was or not, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, exactly. Light- as long as I thought she was a girl. Yeah, lights off, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lights off. At least we're truthful. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I think most people would say that unless they were afraid to tell the truth, so. Uh, we're not done with our whiskey yet, so maybe when we're done with our whiskey, we'll say. But, yeah. Um. Shut the drink on life. Yeah. Um. So yeah, nah. So if it was written granny, like if it was ju- if it was just a granny, like I would. Come I'd... on, bro, you're not fucking with no STDs, are you? No, no. I'd if... rather. You know, so... Honestly, let's let's put it straight right now. Let's simplify the question. I'd rather fucking uh fuck a dude than fuck a girl that has a STD. Well, yeah. Because I'm not dying and I'm not getting a disease. Yeah, well I'm that's saying. that's why I'm saying like if if it was if it was just a granny, rather than a ra- lady boy. I'd, I might lean towards the granny a little bit more. Honestly. Wait, what? If it was just the granny who's, who doesn't have syphilis, okay. No, but he's saying a granny has syphilis. Yes, yeah, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, obviously, I've, I've, yeah, I'm, no I'm, shit. Just, I'm just playing devil's advocate here. Oh, okay. Like, if if it was just a granny that didn't have syphilis, okay, maybe I'd lean to, I'd probably lean towards that a bit more. Right, I'd fuck still a female. granny with syphilis for free if she was hot enough, shit. Then what happened to the... <laughs> What happened to the no STDs? No, if she didn't have an STD, because that's okay, what yeah. you're saying, isn't it? Yeah, but that's but, the, but you just you just said I fuck a granny with syphilis. <laughs> I didn't say that. He says no. I said I fuck a granny for free if she was hot enough. I'm not saying oh, she has a okay. STD. If she was hot enough, okay. I yeah. thought you, I thought you said with syphilis. <laughs> no, fuck that, bro. I'm not fucking nobody with syphilis. Guys. Uh, roll the dice on that one. Yeah, it's not that much of a roll of the dice, man. It's just like yeah. it's it's either you get something that you're gonna live with forever, or you get something, or you do something that you only have to live with for one night. Mm. What would you choose? Mm. Yeah, true. So, you know, um, play it back. Ah, oh, you say you did. Play it back. Wait, let me see. Oh no, I didn't. Let me see. Let me, let, I'm let, 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 me, let me say Mama Sam Makusa. But it doesn't even matter, if, if, even if I say it, it's not what I meant. It's, like, it's, it's either you get something that you're going to live with forever. I mean, didn't have syphilis. Okay, maybe I'd lean towards that a bit more. I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking. I didn't even. What happened to the STDs? No, if Told you he said that shit. I didn't even know I said that. No, that's not what I meant. Yeah, well, I, that shit. yeah, we all know that's not Fuck what you yeah. meant. We all know that's not what you meant. Yeah, but <laughs> I, I, can't, I, I can't even believe I actually said that. That's crazy. Anyway, I fucking knew it. That's crazy. But I, I was willing to let it go until Aaron said so. So <laughs> that is nuts. I can't even believe that. Anyway, <laughs> he's fishing himself. Yes, thank you, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> now, even, now we've got I'm it. I mean, shot. Now we've we've got video proof of that, and I I will use that again. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> mm. Um. When I put this on YouTube, Sam's you going to sing one of his mates' raps, and we're going to react to it. Nice. Let's do it. Um. When he's it, uh, a fucking uh. When this is on YouTube and that part comes up, do you want me to like flash some text on the screen saying he didn't mean to say this? Yeah, <laughs> I do. I really do. Okay. I don't want to. <laughs> Alright, it was around one hour. I remember that. Okay. <laughs> um, Thoughts on gambling? Um, Like everything, it's okay in moderation. Bree, Bree and Rebecca, are you guys watching? I want to know if you guys are watching. Because I'm, I'm curious. Thoughts on gambling? Thoughts on gambling? I think it's fucking retarded. I've never done it in my life. Ever. Never once have I ever bought a fucking... Uh, a lottery ticket or anything. Never once have I ever gambled in my entire life, uh, because it it's a hundred percent fail rate in my head. Yeah. Even if it's technically not, it is like fuck that shit. I mean, like I, I find it okay in moderation, but the issue is, is that I know I have an addictive personality. So like, if I end up going to the casino, like every time I go to the casino, like if 
if I go to the casino just to have a couple drinks with some mates, that's cool. But if I go to the casino and every time I'm playing slots and shit, I'm going to get addicted. I know that. And so I just stop myself from doing that. I'm just like, okay, I'm here to chill with my mates. I, that's can't, all. I couldn't even possibly get a gig. It's like... Uh, gambling makes absolutely no sense to me. Um, all right. Let's, nice. We're reacting to your video, your video now, Samuel. Yeah, buddy. Let's do it. That's pretty, that's uh, pretty good, bro. What's goody, what's goody? Ozzy Samuel, Mike. Big D. Let me just double check that we're still live. Okay. <laughs> the He's a fan of my music. Hey. So, who's the singer dude and who's the rapper dude? Uh, the rapper Samuel. Rapper Samuel. He's your, a fan of mine. Okay, nice. I I didn't know he could do that. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. That's a rap. Hey. Hey, oh, yeah, man. That's, That's Samuel, bro. That is dope. Very impressive, and your mate who's singing is fucking very impressive too. Yeah. Wow. I I need both of you to add me on Facebook, Jaden Ram, man. We, yeah. We need to work together for real. Like I love. Yeah. I love that flip that you did on the word stranger when you're like, now, now you're a stranger, now shit is getting stranger. I yeah. love I love that flip, man. That's so dope. That's some lyrical I, shit. I didn't even know that Sam could do that. That's fucking... Oh. I'm very... I'm impressed, dude. That's really Fuck good. Yeah. Really good. Uh, thoughts on Biden saying blacks ain't black if they don't vote for him. Trump 2020, for uh, sure. He's a racist. Fucking a racist, huh? Trump never... Biden never, uh, Bernie Sanders all the way. Um, <laughs> Bernie Sanders. Um, of course, Sam, bro. That's, that's, that's my boy, some, David. Yeah, okay. bro, that was, that was some epic shit, bro. Yeah, please. please. No, no fucking overstatement here. Like, no way. No blowing smoke up your ass. That was fucking great, bro. That was actually yeah. good. It's fucking really good. Note, man. Both, both you and David need to add me on Facebook, man. We need to get some shit cracking. For real. Mm, that's good. Um, you can you can uh follow search up Jaden Jesse on uh, Facebook and you'll find him. I guess it's easier to search that up because it's so like easy to remember. Yeah. So search up Jaden Jesse and you'll find him. Yeah, buddy. Or you're, you're watching on your fucking thing anyway. Yeah, exactly. Bernie out, bro. He sounds like a racist cunt to me, bro. Yeah, Bernie. You know. Bernie's gone. But yeah. Fuck Bernie, bro. Can I... No, I can't add him here. That's alright. Oh, wait, let me um, see. By the way, guys, if you're wondering why my eyebrows are so thin, I shaved them off. They're not fully grown back yet. That's why. So. Alright, I've added you on Facebook, Sam. 
cool. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a creeper, but I do what the fuck I want to do. Um, <laughs> and I don't think David's coming up, so I, I need Dave. I need David to uh, to add me as well, man. I, I haven't even got David. Wait, send us a link to uh, or tell us his last name. Yeah. Like send it's, it, send it to me. Uh, just message me, bro. My personal Facebook and tell me his name, and we'll both add him. Yeah. Well, Sam, Sam just likes Jaden Jesse page as well, so that's cool. So, um, let's get fucking people asking questions again. Silly questions, fucking any questions. Yeah, you man. You want to fucking know anything that's going to make you want to stay, anything that's going to be fun. Chloe, I know you were here. Sam, thank you for accepting I my friend request. that Rebecca and Bree are still here. I really do. I hope Blake's here. I By hope. the way, that's not the same Chloe. Okay. <laughs> Just letting you know. I'm gonna message Rebecca right now. Let's see if she's still here. And uh, I think yeah, buddy. Tori and Nicola are busy. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I messaged her earlier saying that I was gonna be with you. So yeah. To like, if you, if, like, it would be nice if you guys came along. And she yeah. was like, I might be busy. So. Yeah. Fuck it. All good. Cool. Oi, Sam, bro. Uh, send me the link to your mates uh, Facebook. And I'll pass it on to Jaden, and we'll hell yeah, we'll both add him. And go, uh, you know, he'll probably do a highlight of this, so you can send that video to your mate, and he'll fucking feel, you know, good about it. So fuck yeah, good confidence boost. Um, where's Sam live again? Because I know he lives. He was, I found Sam because it was I was trying to get fans in other states in yeah. Australia so he's from I don't know I forgot Samuel bro what city do you live in message chat right now we want to know what city you live in living in Mexico no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Mexico <laughs> Mexico <laughs> So funny! I was I was editing my um my MGK bloody Valentine reaction video when Nicola was here, and there's one part in there where I'm like um because he's getting like electrocuted in the bathtub, and he's like not dying, he's still singing. I'm just like maybe he really is the rap devil, el diablo. And <laughs> Nicola was listening to that as I was editing, and she she didn't know what I was saying. She all she heard was Abba Baba, Abba Baba. <laughs> She's just fucking saying that over and over again. I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about? She's like, in your video, bro. It's like, no, that's not what it is. That's not what I said. <laughs> All right, Sam, bro. I just added your mate here, and I'm sending it to Jaden right now. So, um, you know, let's get more questions from you motherfuckers. Because we got six people watching. So. Mm hmm All you motherfuckers are liable. Are liable for question asking. And it's alright, we don't know who you are, we can't see who's watching, so you, you technically can creep on us if you want to. Mm hmm If we don't know if they I sent you a link. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. No, that's... <sighs> yeah, that's Nicola. <laughs> She's so cute, man. She is. I'm, I'm so happy I got to spend the weekend with her, man. It was so good. So, you're with her and who? Uh, and her two younger sisters. Um, so you're saying mom? Yeah. How old is she? How old is Tori? Uh, Tori is... Like... Because Tori looks young as fuck. She looks younger yeah. than me, and I'm 21. She's 30, I think? Oh, so she's young. she looks younger than she is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. also 30, yeah. Something like that. He's was zapping his gooch. He's zapping his um, my gooch here. <laughs> Where do you think fucking Gucci comes from? It comes from my gooch, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even my gooch is bro. Anyway. <laughs> uh, MGK, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was zapping his gooch. But the thing I loved about that video is that Megan Fox was in it. In what video? His new music video for Bloody Valentine. It's like a rock oh, okay. kind of track. And he's got Megan Fox in it, playing his love interest, and she's, like, tying him up and Honestly, shit. Honestly, I think there's hotter chicks than Megan Fox. Oh, there is. But I think that's opinion-based as well. So. But she is good-looking. Yeah, she has... Oh, definitely. Yes. 
Well, I definitely fuck Megan Fox, even with her monkey thumbs. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, your mum just came in the stream. Oh my god! Uh, anyway, uh, hi. Ah! Hey, mum. How are you? Wait, get target on this bitch, especially if you guys are drinking. Mm -hmm. But even if you guys aren't drinking, let's get uh, Tog on here taking piss questions. Let's get girls taking piss questions. We want girls. So, yes. um, could you hear from your mum? Let's get your yes. questions going. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. If Todd can't oh, come on, we're happy to Mom have you. Mum has listened to your entire album, bro, in the car, and she loves every oh, second of it. Thank you so much, Karina. I really appreciate it's incredible. that. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I, I hired um, Baby Boy Delivery Service. <laughs> um. Well, it, it's, it's impossible for anyone with ears to hear your album and not like it. Because it's Bruh. incredible. Thanks, man. It's absolutely incredible. Like... And, like, honestly, I heard your music, but then when I listened to the album back to front, it took me on a journey. Like, because it was a whole project, it took me on a fucking journey, and I listened to all your shit, and it was like... Oh, thanks yeah, so much, Yeah, bro. Man. Like, you're, you, you're gonna blow up. I have... Yeah. Uh, if you... Provided the right steps come in place, and you put the right steps, you will blow up. 100%. Yeah. Guaranteed. Because you are fucking incredible. You're an incredible so. singer, and your music is great man thanks man like i guess i'm annoyed sometimes though like because like i so i was gonna put 250 bucks into a spotify ad everything was done for it um they they got a they did a voiceover thing for it and everything it was dope then they came back to me and they're like this doesn't fit our guidelines because it has swearing and i put switching up in there I put the clean version of switching up in there, and they're like, "This has swearing in it. It doesn't meet our guidelines." What are you talking about? Like seriously, like I'm gonna play this shit right now. Oh, thank you, Karina. Yes, Abs I I think so too. I I think the UK would be good. Um. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, bro. Honestly, I'll play that. Sh I'm gonna play this shit for you. I like it. The new album from Jane and Jesse. Honest. What? Featuring the singles Villain, Don't Talk to Me, featuring Cypher, and the hit song Switching Up. Where'd you get that? Spotify. Jade and Jesse. The bar Who's talking? Just some voiceover chick that they hire. She sounds like a proper news. Yes. But see, like, that's the clean version of Switching Up in there, and they're like, too much oh, swearing. We oh. don't like it. Bro, so, I, I fuck that. I'm tricked out by the chick. What the fuck? Yeah, man. It's fucking dope. You can pay her. That's the thing. They put that through on the idea that you're going to pay for the but app. You can go for free then. But it, you're like, you, they want you to pay, but you're going to have to. Well, because basically it's supposed to go you on Spotify. It, you? No, they, they let you download it, and I'm not going to use it for anything. Like, yeah, it's in this stream, but whatever. Like, I'm, I'm not going to use it for any promo materials. So I'm not going to make any money off it. But the thing is, it's just like. I put the clean version of switching up in there and they're like, nah, yeah, too much swearing. It's obvious to me that that's actually a chick who took her time to say what she said in that thing. Yeah, trust me, what I know. Fuck? And that's why I, f I feel bad for her as well. Because, like, for them to even go forward with the voiceover, they would obviously think that Spotify would approve it as well. Yeah, true. You'd think, you'd think they, they would know, like, oh yeah, Spotify's going to approve this. But no, they didn't. Because they thought there was too much swearing in it, in it even though I put the clean version in there. Oh, bro. You, bro, you know the trouble I had. I haven't ever put a video on YouTube and it's not from, like, uh, YouTube ads and it's not from a lack of trying and you know yeah. that because I told you how. Yes. It's fucking bullshit, bro. Yeah, well, see, that's the thing. Like, so I put, I put the audio for switching up as an ad. That was fine. I got, like, I don't know how many views, like, a few, a few K views. Yeah. Well. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very welcome. much. Enjoy it. Thank Please you. Want a straw? No, that's alright. Yeah, I'll have a straw. I'll have a straw. <laughs> Get drunk quicker. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like I, so I put switching up the audio one, uh, up as an ad, and it was approved. Completely fine. I tried to put the lyrics video up. They're like, nah, swearing. Don't like it. What the hell? Are we wearing the same pants but like different colors? Almost. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Where'd you go? Uh, I think it was Ed Harry. When they were going out of business. At DFO. This is trippy. 
Mm. Yours made Harry as well. Oh, and by the way, I got one of these. And it looks like it is the same jacket. Yeah, it's the same. I have the same back grid. Fuck yeah! I have the exact same one. Yeah, buddy. What the fuck? <laughs> I have the exact same jacket he's wearing right now. Next That's fucking nuts. Next time we do stream, we should both wear a bit wear our jackets. Queens, bro. Should Queens. be like fucking denim boys back at it again. That is crazy, <laughs> I, I, the exact same one. What size is it, too? Uh, extra large. I think I got the exact same size. Bruh. What the fuck? Wait, since when you extra large, man, you'd... You'd be surprised. It's because yeah. my... Yeah. Um, KFC, I swear we're not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I think uh, my my frame, even though I'm I'm quite uh, skinny at the moment, my frame's quite big. Yeah. So I can like my shoulders, like for example, I think this is extra large and it only like it fits perfectly. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. 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 Fair enough. It just can actually uh husky built cunt, but then when I go to the gym, I'm like a freak. So. <laughs> Yeah, and then there's me over here, which... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look at your shit. I got the belly. Look at this, man. I'm like fucking Beowulf with this hair shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to go viral one day, dude. I 100% believe that. That'll, that'll go viral when I've, like, actually been in the gym and I actually, like... I When I'm actually in shape, it'll go viral. <laughs> like, yeah, like that. 100%. Oh, you're saying that that's the shit that happened to Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran used to be fat and he's like, you know what? I'm I'm never gonna be in shape and then now he's like buff as fuck. And like it's everything goes viral when he was fat. Um Would you rather have knives for fingers or penises for fingers? Knives. Are you kidding me? What kind of quit oh wait. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to jerk off. And you cut everybody that you touch. Yeah, I have knives still because who wants to jerk off with fucking ten dicks? On your dick. Yeah, because then, it, then it's just I'd like, rather never jack off again. Because then you're just constantly sword fighting with yourself. You're, you're constantly <laughs> questioning whether you're a faggot. You're constantly just, like, playing swords with because yourself. Because if you jack off with one hand, you've got five dicks touching your dick. And you're like, it's like a fucking Simpson. But, but, imagine fingering a chick then. That would be pleasurable as fuck for her. Uh, wait. The only difference is you can come out of your fingers. If that's your only difference, then why does it make it any better? You know what I mean? Because different shapes. I mean, I feel like a finger isn't as as pleasurable of a shape than a penis is. And they're kind of designed that way. I would say the only benefit is that a penis is softer than a finger and fingers can be harsh. Yeah, because fucking nails are the shit. Yep. Yeah, because fingers are solid fucking yeah. things, and like yeah. penises can, can like sliding and like be, I don't know. We we talk so much shit right now. Yeah, but dude, like when when I when I first like fingered a chick, like, um, the first time, like my I, brother Mark, just thing like, yeah. Do you want to meet him? I don't know how mum would feel about a bunch of people in the house. Like, no offense to him. Yeah, I've got nothing against him. It's just. Oh, well, tell him, but... Yeah, you know? just gotta be really careful. <laughs> yeah. So, definitely not? Nah, probably not, man. Okay. Maybe another, maybe another time if we organise it and plan it ahead. Okay. Yeah, yeah. see, we'll do that. Yeah. And, um, even at your place, maybe, even. Yeah, come come to my place and I'll get my... Because you haven't even been to my place. No, I, I think you've liked my crib. i got fucking nice fucking setup and shit for, like, games and shit. Fuck yeah. Have you seen that new game that came out, the shark one? No. Where you play as a shark. You no. play as a shark and you get to a uh, fucking. Like, your whole uh, storyline of the game is your mum gets eaten when, you, when you're a little kid and you see her. Uh, no, not gay. She gets caught and she gets killed. Mm. And um, she's like a big ass shark, right? Mm. And then your whole shit is you're trying to find the guy who killed her and, and fucking destroy him. And the whole game's like you fucking killing cunts and like what? Dude, it's sick. This it's, is this is gonna be a movie. <laughs> it's, like it's, it's called Sharky. Sharky. Or yeah, it, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a movie. It's, it's actually right. dope, bro. Like fuck yeah, that sounds dope. Yeah. When when they're all soft. Ah. Oh. So, yeah, so apparently the penises for fingers are always soft. 
All right, we got Amy who's going to come on screen. So, um, you, uh, uh, I'm fucking hot, but bro, oh, wait, you better get turned on by that right? because if you don't, there's something wrong with you. Just saying. Yeah, I got a burp fetish, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh fuck it. I get turned on my, by my own burps, bro. Dude, it was fucking funny in in that MGK reaction that I did. Like, there was one part where Megan Fox was stepping on MGK's face, and it was just like a shot of her foot on top of his cheek and shit. I'm just like, that shit's definitely gonna be on Wiki Feet by tomorrow. I swear. <laughs> like today, it's probably gonna be on Wiki Feet. Like. <laughs> All right. Amy's coming on. New Assassin's Creed looks dope. I'm not sure, man. I haven't really been into Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Um, I've got it. Yeah. <clears throat> Honestly, I, in general, don't like the Assassin's Creed franchise. I don't like... The games are boring to me. But, that being said, I have been playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate. And it is fucking great. And it's the most underrated Assassin's Creed. And it's actually a good game and that is the only Assassin's Creed game that I've ever liked because the structure is is great like it's like a a properly established set out game and it's based in like a retro fucking London like like 1800s London when like Jack the Ripper was around it, it's sick and it's actually good I like that game as fuck actually yeah Amy what's up thank you for coming through Ask us questions, Amy. Any silly questions, any fucking funny questions, any questions, but, like, any questions. Yeah. Any questions you want. Anything and everything. Yeah. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, yeah. Valhalla. Oh, Valhalla, yes. Um, that, I think that's, that's the one that's that's, That yet. hasn't come out yet. No. So, yeah. That one's not out yet. No, no, Odyssey. definitely. That one looks great. That's the Viking one. Yeah. So. Because, I mean, Odyssey came out recently, but it's not, like, yeah, well, yeah. it's the newest one. Um, yeah. Well, that's what I thought you meant. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you guys play Rocket League or Red Dead? Uh, um, I have played Rocket League. I haven't played Red Dead. I'm not sure if I'd be into it, honestly. Uh, Rocket League, I mean, like... Um, I don't know. I'm a certain type of gamer. I mean, I've, I've tried Red Dead. Very boring to me. I don't know why. I can see yeah. why people like that game, but I don't. I tried, but I didn't like it because it was very slow and boring. Um, uh, or Last of Us. The Last of Us. I liked it yeah. for the first few hours, and then it got very repetitive and boring. Same yeah. thing. I, I haven't played Last of Us yet. I've, I've been wanting to because... You can play it at mine. I got yeah. it. You can play like, it. Literally, there's so many games at mine, but if you have a game that you want to play and you haven't played, you can play it at my house because I've got that many games. Like, right. Any game you've ever thought of, I've got it. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, Like, because the thing is, like, I recently played uh, Life is Strange 2. And I really liked that, actually. It's just like a, a game where you go through and you have to make, like, um, mm. you have to make decisions and your decisions uh, basically affect the yeah. the life of, like, these two brothers whose dad yeah. got shot by a cop. Um, fucking Very dope. different. I yeah. loved that game, man. I don't even know why. Like, it's so different from anything else i played before, and I loved it. Um, both me. Assuming you mean Red Gag, uh... I don't know whether you mean one or two. I play. I tried two. I haven't done one. I tried two. Yeah. I didn't like it. It was very boring. That's, just, that's all I have to say. I don't. Red Dead Two is the only one I've tried. Like I might Extre try. Extremely uh, strenuously boring. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I might. I might try Red Dead Two because now it's on Game Pass. Well, like I've got it. You can play it with mine. Sounds dope. Okay. Yeah. yeah um, <laughs> you can play any people. Because like, because <laughs> they they had GTA Five on Game Pass on Xbox Game Pass, and I got so pissed off because the other night I tried to play ga uh, GTA Five because because it's on Game Pass, then I don't even have to put the disc in. I just click play and it starts yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah. But now it, they've removed GTA Five and they've put Red Dead Two on there, mm. and that's fucking annoying because now I have to put the disc in for GTA Five. Yeah. Bullshit. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, nah, uh, honestly, bro, um, I've played games for, like, a while, and I'm very seasoned, so I expect my games to be really good, and Red Dead did not hit it for me fast enough, it was very boring for a long time, and I, it didn't kick in for me fast enough, like, if I have to speak about, like, my favourite games of all time, 
uh, Bioshock Infinite, amazing game, um, incredible. Honestly, anyone who hasn't played Bioshock Infinite, it, the only people who who would say that's a bad game are people who haven't played it. That's an incredible game. Yeah, I've um, played it yet. Fucking, uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is one of the greatest games of all time, for its time. Um, you know. I don't know, but uh, it's hard to think of on, on the spot, but I have my own specific taste in games. Yeah. I expect, I have high uh, expectations. Resident Evil 7, fucking, mm. the most, uh, so incredible. Um, <laughs> Outlast 2, have you ever played Outlast 2? Yes. Alright, you think, you think, <laughs> have you played Outlast 2? Huh? Have you played Outlast 2? Yes. Yeah. Your whole thing? No, I haven't played it through. I haven't played much of it, to be honest. Alright, Racing Evil 7 is a scary game. Outlast 2 is the scariest game. Mm -hmm. Ever. Much scarier. Ever. Outlast 2 is the scariest game. I don't care how strong of a manly man you are at that game, you will fucking shit yourself. You will be yes. like... <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, it will ev happen. Everywhere is fucking dark, and like most of the places, the only way that you can see is through a fucking camera. A camera. A camera with Which the, runs out of battery. What you the only way you can see ninety nine percent of the time is through a camera with night mode on. And the camera runs out of battery very fast. So and if you, you run out of battery more. and you can't find the batteries, you're fucking screwed. Um, very intense. So save often. Um anyway, how can open worlds be or ever be boring? I mean, it depends on the style, that's the thing. That's funny you say that, because of it, like just the fact that you said that kind of implies to me that you're not like, very seasoned in like playing games for a long period of time. Because the longer amount of years you play games, the more easier it is to get bored mm. with games. So, um, let's say GTA V, for example. Decent game, good fucking story uh, when you play it the first time. After like a few years, very boring. Not something you go back to. I don't know. That's just my personal uh, fucking opinion. I think there's a lot of uh, games that are very fleshed out that get easier to replay. Bioshock Infinite was my example. Like I, I played that game probably uh, three times, like the whole way through, because it's such a incredible story. Uh, Semi open world. You go through the a game you can go back through the fucking things not totally open world you can't go anywhere you want but you know what i mean it's i don't know uh amy asked what uh what game you said was the best game ever for you best game ever yeah uh, grand theft auto san andreas yeah i so grand theft auto san andreas the weird thing is like i so i liked gta 4 but I liked the DLCs for well, the, the sorry, the Liberty City stories for GTA Four better than GTA Four the actual game, like Battle of the Gay Tony. Um, specifically, the Battle of the Gay Tony was better than the actual game in my opinion. Mm. Like because you, I I like I actually liked the biker one, uh, the Lost in Game. Okay, yeah, I didn't With, really uh, get into that one. You never played. I, I what played was it. Call again? I forgot what it was yeah, called. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was Lost and Damned. Yeah. Yes, I've got it. Well, that so no, that was you, GTA Five. If I you think. come, no, it wasn't. It's GTA Four. Was it? Okay. Yeah. So if you come to mine, you can play it. It's yeah. definitely based on Liberty City, and uh, you play the biker, and yeah. it's the same biker. You know, uh, GTA Five. Trevor fucks someone's yes, girlfriend and he stumps his head. Yeah, yeah. That's uh -huh. the guy who you play as in GTA 4. And and when you play as that guy and then you see the uh, GTA, it's, it's depressing. Yeah. It's actually one of my favourite characters in yeah. GTA history. Yeah. Like, he's actually a sitcom. And then in GTA 5, he's a total mess and he gets his... And it's fucking... Yeah. Honestly. Ugh. You have to play it. You, that's the only way you're going to go what I'm saying around now. Like, yeah. Um... Uh, my mate wants to know if you guys like Spyro. Yeah. Uh, I, I have Spyro. The, uh, assuming you mean a reignited one. The remastered, remade one. Um, yeah. I, I like it. I was addicted it's to good. it. It's good. Of course it's good. Yeah. I was addicted to, to it for like a month and then I clocked it. 
Except for the third one. I didn't get through the third one because I wasn't, I wasn't I th- really happy with the third I one. I think games have developed since then. They're more complex. It's still the same old Spyro remake. That's basically yeah. how I can say it. It's always got to be a good game. It's just yeah. that games have developed since then. Yeah. So, um, Amy says she hates Spyro, though. Uh, yeah, and I, I mean, it's incredible what they've done. It, and the fact that it's so old and they still made it a game that you want to play. That's yeah. That's playable. Well, in see, modern day. Well, see, the thing is, like, gone are the days now with, like, certain... So certain companies don't make their own game engines anymore. Like, I mean, Spyro was made on the Unreal Engine, which is the same engine that fucking Fortnite and PUBG are made on. Like, they use that... They use the Epic Games engine to make it. So gone are the days where, like, fucking game... Uh, fucking game studios make their own engines these days the only ones are really epic games are making their own engine and resident evil are making their own engine and then other than that everybody's using epic games engine so a lot of it is like either you can make your own properties or you can download a bunch of different properties and so it's but the thing is like epic games unreal engine is fucking free that's the thing like i've got that like it's free so like but the fact that people are making games and making money off it, like, that's kind of crazy. Especially with the, with the fact that, like, <laughs> fucking PUBG made made PUBG with the, with the Unreal Engine that Fortnite was made on and then tried to sue Fortnite and were like, hey, you stole our game, bro, da, 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 da. It's just like, you used our engine to make it, bro. What mm. the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> uh... The reason, you know... The reason why I say um, San Andreas is the greatest game of all time is because of... Alright. Put this in perspective. I'll put it in perspective here. Grand Theft Auto 3, which was the Liberty City one, was made one year before San Andreas was made. And check out how more, much more developed and good graphics and quality San Andreas is the Grand Theft Auto 3. One year different. One yeah. year. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas was 2004. Okay? And never... A lot of... Uh, most games where there's cheats involved, where you can do cheats, destroys the whole game. Because the cheats make the game too easy and you end up fucking... Uh, ca- not caring about the game whereas with san andreas the cheats made the game more enjoyable in my opinion you could fly cars you could get the jetpack you could uh fucking infinite ammo infinite health more cheats and good cheats better cheats than any other game that has ever existed before or after more better cheats more and better cheats um, the only uh, Grand Theft Auto or game ever where you can actually uh, decide the size of your character, whether he's fat, skinny, or buff. You decide how much muscle he has, how much how skinny he is, how fucking fat he is. The only game ever that can you can do that. The only uh, a, a ton of fucking uh, clothing customization. You can make your character look however the fuck you want. And it's in the most gangster, fucking I mean, late nine, uh, nineteen nineties setting, like when I mean, Ice Cube was out and shit. You can do that in Saints Row as well. But that's different. That's yeah. different because you you um you you design your character at the start, and that's the character you have the whole way through. Or you can go to the fucking um back to the cosmetic surgery place and do it. But with San Andreas, you have to go to the gym and you build your muscles up. Oh, okay. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not saying, because I, I fucking... Have you played Saints Row 4? No, not 4. I played 3. Oh, my God. Come to my house. Man. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Come to my... Oh, Saints Row 4 makes me jealous. It's so good. It's incredible. And, Wait, is, is and, that the one that's getting remastered? That's Saints Row 3. That's game yeah. remastered. Saints okay. Row 4 doesn't need to be remastered because yeah. it's in your swamp. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Dude, I'm telling you, Saints Row 4, if, like, would you shit you do for, for gaming footage, Saints Row 4 would be perfect for that. Yeah. Because yeah. the, the, the opening shit, oh. you're, um, you're the president of the United States, 
and, and you're in this military thing and you're trying to stop a nuclear bomb from destroying the world and the opening thing you're shooting motherfuckers shooting these terrorists and you and you have to jump onto a bomb and defuse it like last second it's already flying off it's about to destroy the fucking uh, like america or some shit and you're defusing it and guess what music plays I don't wanna close my eyes. <laughs> yes. And you're defusing this nuclear bomb <gasps> as that music plays. Dude. And then you jump off the nuclear bomb last second just as it blows off and blows up and fucking dive back to Earth. It's incredible. It's absolutely an incredible fucking game. I need to show you something, okay? Since we were talking about GTA before, I need to show you something. You you're gonna fucking jizz probably. Do you know who that is? No, but I know you get my name used to be a big boy. He, he, he voices a radio station on GTA 5. Power, power, well, he, he's oh. on the radio station Power 106, but he voices the hip-hop radio station on GTA 5. He follows me on Twitter. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. To the point where I literally DM'd him switching up. See if he'll play it, and he's yeah. uh, and he's seen it too. It's funny because like, <laughs> you can DM someone like twenty times, and they will appreciate the fact that you DM them so many times, not expecting an answer. You know what I mean? Yes, they actually will. They will appreciate it, even yeah. even if it seems like total spam. Yeah, because they know that you're working hard. Because like the thing is, like I said to him in the thing, I'm just like, look, maybe give the song a listen. If you like it. Maybe consider playing it. If you don't, I just appreciate a listen from you, to be honest. That's what I said to him. Just yeah, like, definitely. Like, because I, he and, has and, so much and, respect yeah. in the hip hop community, man. Like, um, favorite console game? Ask San Andreas. Uh, heard a rumor that Red Dead Three is coming out. Uh, doubt it. Yeah, uh, I doubt that that's an accurate rumor. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, and uh, and especially no way before like it's well, that is, that's too specific for it to be true. Games yeah. are never that specific. You can't especially uh, Rockstar. <laughs> oh yeah, so, yeah. Like, like once every seven eight years they make a game. Yeah, like GTA Six probably isn't even coming till next year still. Yeah. Like and, yeah yeah yeah. And even the, even with that, like the announcement probably isn't going to come till like September November anyway. Hmm. So, um, Saints Row, did I see the Saints Row? Of course I did. Remaster, yes, I, I did see it. Yeah. And, and I think it was Saints Row. And it's third, absolutely actually. great. It's And I want to get it. It's, yeah. it's 50, I'm going to wait till it goes on sale, go. It's 59.95 or something. Yeah. Um, I always wait till games go on sale. Always. Yeah. I always do because they always go on sale. It always yeah. happens. Especially digitally so as well. It, it, yes, it's worth waiting. It's worth waiting. Um, I'll get it when it does. But fucking. I've got Saints Row 4. And it's... Yeah. Food. Food. Um. Fuck yeah. On, on here might actually be better. I put this on a tray or something. On the bed might be better. It depends. Awesome. Thank you. So I'm putting you a spoon and a fork. If you want a knife, you can have it too. Um, thank you. Just a spoon would be fine for me. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Enjoy. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's good. It's a nice hot meal. Enjoy it. Don't stick to your belly. Okay. That looks too hot to eat right now. Yeah. Wait for it to cool a bit. That looks like spoiling. Uh, your coke, sir. Sick. Your cock, sir. My kiak. <laughs> you just gave me my kiak on a platter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't give you your cock. I gave you your cock. <laughs> Have okay. I played Saints Row? I've played Saints Row 2 for like five minutes. But Saints Row 4 just is incredible. I, I only play uh, games if they initially grab me instantly. Like, that's, they're great games, Ben. You know? Like, you can tell if a game's going to be good in the first 10, 15 minutes. You can tell if it's going to be good or shit. Yeah. You just can't. Sorry. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, dude, you definitely need to come over and play Saints Row 4, and it would be insane for you for your channel, trust me, because it yeah. actually is a fucking epic, epic game, and the reactions you would get off how epic it is. Yeah. 100%. Well, because that's the thing, like, I definitely... I, I know how to record for you, so all you have to do is fucking double tap your one of the buttons, so... Yeah, well, like, the way I record it to the computer is using that thing up there, the game capture, Elgato. Oh, I got a PS4. So. Yeah. Oh. But, um... Like a Saints Row on USB, so, game for each. Yeah. But, like, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get this, uh, what is it, the Elgato Camlink 4K, which allows me to connect this camera to my computer and record straight to it. That would be sick. Yes. Fuck no. Out of stock, America, UK, here, the only place that's got it is JB Hi-Fi and June Boy. That reminds me, right? I need to get it. <laughs> guess, guess what I ordered online what? three days ago. What? I got a phone. Okay. Yeah. It's called Realme XT. Okay. Okay. You know, uh, obviously you know about uh, high resolution like HD. So 1080p is yeah. HD. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Take guess how many p the camera. Of this uh, phone is. I'd say at least 2160p, so like that's that's 4K, I think, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh. I don't know, man. What? Go on. Go higher. <laughs> well, so it's higher than 4K. Yeah. So I don't know what P it is, but like, what, 5K? Well, just take it, take it higher. 8K? What? No, no fucking way. No. No. Okay, okay, we need to look this shit up. All right, let's look this shit up. Not that I don't believe you, All but right. I feel like it could be misread. No, okay. I didn't. Because even red cameras only go up to eight k right now. I'll show you, bro. I'll show you. It's it's been on seven years because of how crazy it is. That's fair. Uh, you got four cameras on the back here. Um, sixty-four megapixels. Okay. Yeah. Now let's see. Um, one thousand and eighty p is uh, I think it's two point something megapixels. This is sixty-four. Yeah. So uh, sixty-four. How many? All right. Is sixty-four. Um, well, alright, oh, that's it, see, alright. Best way to check is probably to go back to the website and they'll probably have in the specs what, what? Uh, resolution the camera is. Nine thousand two hundred and eighty. Jake. Then again, that's, so that's pictures, so that's... That's what that that and, and see it says real me at that's the phone I'm getting. And guess how much okay. it costs? What? Cheapest chips for a Really? For a you can go, bro. Fuck man. I wish I wasn't so so used to the Apple ecosystem, man. Like <laughs> But how ridiculous is that? Yeah. For a, for a fucking phone. Fuck yeah. Specs are just shit, man. Like Absolutely re retarded. Re absolutely retarded. Uh, final camera, Samsung GW1 sensor. That's cool. That's a video recording. Here we go. So, okay, so it does up to 4K recording at 30, 30 FPS. That's fucking dope. Slow motion up to 960 FPS. That's fucking insane. Just that slow mo is but dope. The main back camera is 64 megapixels. 8 gigs DDR4 in a fucking phone? Yeah. That's gonna be fast as fuck. That's actually retarded, dude. It's actually like 
the most affordably amazing throwing. That's why it's been on the news. Yeah. Fuck, man. That's insane. 4,000 million amp hour battle. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if we dropped off him. Yeah. That's good to type C. But I. I, I can't wait till Apple switches to Type C as well. Oh, we still got six people. Wow, okay. Yeah. Uh, let's go some questions. Um, okay. White phone. Realme X key. 9,280 EP resolution. <laughs> well, some people probably got scared just so. $9,280. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm like three minutes behind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's cool. Uh, sorry, my message is lagging so much. Yeah, see, okay, so what happens is, like, whatever comments you say on here, they take about maybe a minute to get to us, and then we react to it, and then there's even a, there's even a delay in the broadcast, so it's probably like a minute and a half after when we answer your questions. Like, if I had to guess. Still hot? Oh. It's alright. Alright, cool. I'm gonna take your word for it. Oh, fuck it. It's right here, bro. <laughs> no worries. So, uh, you, your mum's always... Uh, my, your mum touches your foot, bro. Yeah. So, mum made apricot chicken. Fuck. Dude, it literally scars off the bone, bro. Yeah. Yep. Totally missed my mouth half of that, but whatever. <laughs> hey, Dad. My dad's here. Is that your dad? Yep. Hey, I'm your sun spring cipher. Yes. Ryan, uh, little, little, little baby Ryan Foster from from Huntingdale Primary. You remember him. <laughs> I told him that you were on my app and he lost his mind. He just went, what? Really? Little baby Ryan Foster. Why is this? I mean, he didn't say little baby Ryan Foster. I said that, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> because back then you were you were shook. Mm. Well, now you're taller you than me. You hit puberty when you were like ten, cunt. Damn straight. That's <laughs> when I started shaving. Fucking hell. <laughs> Mukbang. This is good content, boy. Damn straight. Us just eating. So good. Trying to get mukbang and then like a fucking put it in there, um, in there as mukbang. This is gonna fucking hell of it to be honest. But <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'll do it this way. You guys. Ask questions, but I can answer while my mouth is full of chicken. Mm. That's hot. You know that's hot. That turns me off. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're pretty good to ask questions when your mouth's full of dick. What? Oh, cool. <laughs> 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 that's the best part. 
if you're wondering, Dad, this is why I didn't share it to, you, <laughs> to your page, okay? Because of things like me saying that Ryan's mouth was full of dick. Anyway, um, <laughs> I don't think your followers would appreciate that. But I I can be clean on streams, but I can't I can't expect Ryan to be. I want him to be himself. Yeah, that's fair. Man, what was I just gonna say? Fine. I'm just. I just gonna do this one. Play some music while you're eating, Dad says. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um, let me just... I want to know who's watching. Samuel, are you watching? Is Riley watching? Who's watching? I want to know. Okay. I've got a mouthful of food. Same food of our mouth, man. That's disgusting. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Thanks for sharing it. Um, I asked one, but you skipped one. You skipped it. Let's see. What, what do we miss? Um. Where was it? Um. Ah. Do I need to ask my question again? I thought your prize. Okay, so it's back even further than that. Um, ask my question. Ask the question. We did not miss a question. The last question that you asked Aaron was, would you rather knives for fingers or penises for fingers? And we asked her that, didn't we? Yeah. Voiceman, what question does you talk about, Bryce? <laughs> And my answer was, I'd rather knives. Because I wouldn't want to wank my dick with dicks. My answer was penises just because of the fingering aspect for, for the lady's pleasure. I'd rather be a virgin than fucking have dicks for fucking fingers. That's just, like, it's all opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm a generous lover, okay? My first time, I didn't even finish, okay? <laughs> bro, I, bro, there has to be at least one girl that's existed in this, the history of the world that's enjoyed knives off her fucking wood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably. Jesus. Uh, my question is the following. I'm about to ask questions. Is the food good, boys? No, oh, fuck you. Yep. It's really good. Straight up. Very good, bro. I've eaten all the chicken. I've eaten all the potatoes and shit. All I've got left is rice. Dad, if you're still here, ask us some weird questions. Whatever you th you can think of. Well, he bites me. You know. You know, you can, I have full confidence in you, bro. You can ask the probably the weirdest question of anyone. I mean, you already have, really. You've already asked the craziest question, so. I want you to up the ante and <clears throat> outdo yourself with the next one. Outdo yourself, people, with the next question that you come up with, okay? I ain't like a fucking crazy person. I don't care, okay? <laughs> Non appetite. <laughs> what you talking about, bro? You say my mom's not a good cook? Yeah, but yeah, that's right, you correct yourself. 
<laughs> He's like, non appetite. Wait, bon appetite. <laughs> bon ape your tit. <laughs> bon ape your tit. <laughs> Alright, we've done that in five minutes. You smash that shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, boy. So, Ife is back, and we got three motherfuckers, so. I guess Egan's not that popular. What are you talking about? Ch click on that. Click on that mukbang tab, and I'll, sh I'll show you how many views that's got. <laughs> All right. Question. You said the question is you. My question is the following, and you didn't put a question. It didn't come through. Um, if you. What question? Ask your question again. If it hasn't come through, ask you again. you drink or something without the problem. I but mean, <laughs> the coffee you gave me was way up on uh, my withdrawals. Like, just basically on display. I, I won't I won't ever take it out. I want it to just be on display. What? <laughs> you, your coffee you gave me. You see? Oh, yeah, yeah. I just have it on display. Nice. Yeah, man. It's like the first thing you see when you walk into my room and you look. Bro. Fuck yeah, I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, of course, bro. Of course. Means a lot to me. I say like it's only my accomplishment. You're on that album too. It's your accomplishment too. <laughs> mm. All right, Pete. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to spend about five minutes getting all your motherfuckers back on because I closed my computer while I was eating stuff. I'm going to get all the peeps back on. We actually, you know, we have a high retention rate. Yeah. We I actually did. So. Like, high, way higher than usual. Mm-hmm. 100%. Six, at least six people at all times. Yep. So it was like six and above. Yep. That's a really good Max retention. Max, was 11. That's a new record. That's a good retention rate. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Mm-hmm. I did it like that because I might have, like, sauce on my hands or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> I drank two bottles of that last time. Do I? Mhm. Mm oh my god, that's so fucked. You drank yours, and then I took one sip of mine. I didn't like mine, and then you drank it. <laughs> Alright, I want to ask you a serious question right now. Alright. Is there anything you don't like about the red rum contract? No. So what, alright, I know that your main issue is responsibilities. And that's the only issue. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what fuck. Yeah, that's... But you, other than that, you like, the contract's pretty fair, isn't it? Like, you like yeah, the no. contract, yeah. Yeah. Thing is, I feel guilty about uh, having your name here. I feel guilty about it because, like, okay. the way it is, it's like, even if I don't sign on to the contract part of it, I must still be very much a part of Red Run Records in the way that I'll have you on features, I'll have any of your artists on features, one hundred percent. Yeah, true. So you'll have my support, one hundred percent. All I want to know is, you look. You don't have to be fucking side to your shit. All I want to know is that you're happy with me pushing your shit. Yeah, 100%. Pushing your product, you know. 100%. Because I can still do that without you being side to your record. Like, yeah. I know that. That's cool, man. Yeah. The only thing is, if you sign the contract, 
then yeah. you're going to be obliged to do certain things yeah. that you might not be able to do. Exactly. It just depends, yeah. Exactly. And the, the one thing that I hate being is unreliable. Mm. That's the that's the worst shit for me, and it makes me want to fucking kill myself. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm the same, dude. Like, no, your questions aren't coming through, man. What's the, okay? I'm gonna tell you in sequence what's come through from you. Non appetit, bon. My question not coming through? Question mark. Or did that come through? Are my questions aren't coming through still? That's about it, man. That's it. that's literally in sequence of what's come through. So, I don't know what you're talking about. Chicken. <laughs> Wait, you know what? You guys want to fucking share? Me and Mike damn savage. Give you a good gun share. Here's the gun share for the sofa. Here's the here's the show. I'm gonna lick my finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's like oh. a KFC snack box. Here's my fucking uh, chicken drumsticks. All right, see. All right, do that, bro. Yes, do that. We don't want anybody being censored here, man. Nobody deserves to be censored. Would you rather drink a pint of your worst enemy's piss through a straw while they watched? Or eat a bowl of your own shit while your entire family watched? Uh, I'd rather drink a pint of my worst enemy's piss. Yeah, but I'd, I'd rather that too. Um, just... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would. I don't know. I feel like there's uh, a more of a pride-taking thing in doing it in front of your fucking flesh and blood. Yeah. And not only that, like, putting it... Putting it in a bowl and then eating it in front of your family, like, you had a, you had a time... To back out of that and you didn't. You had a choice in that. See, if you're drinking somebody else's piss, like, most likely it's a dare or something. If you're putting your own shit into a vessel, grabbing a spoon, and then eating it in front of your family, you had many chances to back out, dude. Okay? <laughs> you had multiple occasions that you could have backed out and you didn't. That, may that means... Everything that happens from then on is is on you. That's the thing. Yeah, no, so the best friend's piss. I'd rather that. Yeah. That's right. The worst, worst enemy's, enemies piss. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, piss is piss. So, <laughs> they, they piss you off, you drink their piss, same thing. Bro, honestly, I'd probably drink my worst, a pint of my worst enemy's piss for like... Shits and giggles? A thousand bucks. <laughs> I thought you were going to say just for shits and giggles. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> no, I'd, I'd, I'd do it for a grand. Mm. That's definitely worth it. Yeah. But that's coming from people who don't make fucking large income, so... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's... That's literally um, yeah. more than a fortnight's pay for me, so that's good. <laughs> I feel like people who come, who get it harder in life, they work harder as a result, and they make better of themselves as a result because they know what it's like to have nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Your enemy is watching you do it, though. Yeah, that's that's fine. I'd rather... Oh, uh, yeah. I'm because my worst enemy is probably an ex-girlfriend, mm. and like it's totally fine for me to drink her piss in front of her. It'll probably give me a brown. I don't know. I'm pretty fucked up. Like yeah, it's probably happened way. before. But anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> but but no, like that's I, honestly, I'd I'd rather see, I'd rather my worst enemy, someone who who I who I have no ab obligation to see again, 
see me drink drink their piss because it's just like I, just, I have no obligation to see you again. They fuck probably it, it probably wouldn't off. do anything other than make them wet. In like in my case, so fuck it. Well, like all the all the time that that they, they can say, oh, I made this guy drink my piss, and like you know most people would just say you're fucking disgusting, dude. Anyway, <laughs> so it's just like. It's 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 a lose lose for everybody, so fuck it. Like, they don't win, and neither neither do you. So fuck it. You don't have to see them again. Your family, you have to see pretty much every day, unless you don't live with them, and then mm. you you have to see them probably at least two to three times a year. So, yeah, exactly. Like, you know, I don't know. Um, when it comes to pride. It doesn't. It baggies most when it comes to your family that you keep your pride. Mm -hmm. When it comes to anyone outside your family, it's not really that big of a fucking deal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, because you couldn't uh tell like your mum that she's a bitch because you would lose your pride and it would make you look like an asshole and you'd feel like a piece of shit. Whereas. If it was uh, someone who wasn't your family or who was being a bit shit, you could call them a bitch and you'd be completely fine. Even if, like, they think, oh, you got me, fuck it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you, you get some things that are just, uh, you, you can't do to your family. I mean, let's be, let's be real. Just have, out of moral boundary. Let's be real. I have called my mom a bitch when I've, when I've been angry sometimes, but I, I feel really? bad. Yeah, but I feel really bad wow, after. Yeah, fucking yeah. Because, like, I get that angry, man, but, like, I feel really bad after. <laughs> um, would you rather crap glass every time you go to the loo or have a vagina with a yeast infection on your forehead? Honestly, wow. a lot of, a lot of my shits, wow. because I'm going to be real, like, sometimes I wait, like, two, three days to take shit, so... <laughs> what? Yeah. What the f Are you kidding me? No. Nah. Dude, I'm, that's not good. No, you I've, need to go to the doctor. No, no, I've spoken to a doctor and they said so, some people take a shit every day, some people take a shit once a week. It's perfectly normal. Once a week? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Straight up. But, um, so sometimes it feels Fuck like that. fucking knives. So, um, I, I might go with the glass, to be honest. Yeah. What's this? Fuck yeah. Alright. One of my ADM mates just, just sent a, just commented on there. I'm just like, oh, switching up remixes in the works. I, s I posted on the page. And he's, he's like, oh, send me the stems. I'll flip it. So, who knows? I might I might be releasing a switching up remix EP. <laughs> That'd be dope. Um, <clears throat> I sent another question. Did this come through? Uh, the, the crap glass one, yes. Uh, fucking would you rather <laughs> crap? I have to oh try to with a yeast infection on your forehead. Fuck, that's really hard, dude. That's actually really fucking hard. Um, it, alright. It's, is a yeast infection painful at all? Um, I... And mm. how bad does it stink? Because if it stinks and it's painful, I'm leaning towards the glass. I think more stinks than it's painful. Even if it stinks, like, I'd forehead. rather shit glass. Like, just because it, I, I can't stand bad smells. Yeah, and it's like, it's like shitting glass, it'll pass, basically. Yeah, it, it, they're both fucking excruciatingly bad options. Yes. <laughs> but, <laughs> would, you, would you rather something that you can do in the comfort of your own home and nobody else knows? Oh, about? yeah, nah. Or know, something yeah, that people nah, see shit all glass, the fucking bro. time? I would shit glass, <laughs> yeah, fuck that. That's fucked up. It feels like trout. <laughs> stop no, going, shit class, bro. Stop get, going down on women with yeast infections, basically. Bro, because um, sometimes it feels like I'm shitting glass, even though I'm not. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. I know the feeling. I absolutely know the feeling. <laughs> like some sometimes, like it hurts so much, and then like you actually look down and you just and you you didn't realize how big it actually was, and it's just like that fucking came out of me. What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> and like you have to do a f couple of flushes before you actually start going again, just to, <laughs> just to make sure that it doesn't block, you know. 
<laughs> a backflip's cooler than cool cars. Uh, yes. Mm, yeah, I disagree. You think uh, cool cars are better? Yeah, I think cool cars last longer. Um, but then again, backflips are less. Nah. Well, you can be poor and do a backflip. Whereas cool cars, you need a lot of money. Yeah, but I resent it because I'm poor and can't do a backflip. So. <laughs> yeah, but at least you, it's easier to learn a backflip than it is to have a cool car. Okay, Mark, I'm glad you're here. We're going to talk about doing some music, man. For real. Yeah. Like, you, you got a song you need a hook on. Like, I've I'll, told I'll get him, that. I told him how much you, you were um into his shit in the live stream, and he was, like, surprised. I don't think he's even yeah. seen it, so. Nah. Dude, seriously, you're fucking dope. If you need a hook, message me. I will give you a hook, 100%, man. Mm. And just get that checked out for us when you get it. Yeah. I'll set up a teleconference. Right? <laughs> set, set up a, te- a, a tele doctor's appointment. I've had the plumber out as a consequence of your giant shit stream. Not just mine. <laughs> Is that true? Not just mine. That's, that was when Jordan was living here too. Oh, Alright? So both of us put together, yeah, absolutely. But you gave birth to us, it's your fault. Okay? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, was, I was told him about that. Yeah, so the, ma- the main issue, man, is like, we're, we're, we're going to be really careful about who we bring into the house. Not that I think there's anything wrong with you, but we've got to be very careful because uh, my mum's in stage five renal failure, so we're just going to be really careful about who we have around her. Um, so there's nothing against you, man, but yeah. definitely if we if we organise it and plan it ahead, we can definitely make it happen, and maybe even over at Ryan. Yeah, what we'll do is uh, Jaden can come to... Uh, the boys' house soon, and then you can come over, bro, and we'll, we'll catch up, all of us. Fuck yeah, man. I, def- I definitely want to catch up with you, man. Yeah. I remember you from high school, but I, I don't think I've actually said, like, one word to yeah, you. Yeah, you would remember him, man. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. My brother rem- remembers him, my brother. I, I think my brother was actually, like, kind of good mates with him, actually. Yeah, true. Fucking hell. Yeah. Yeah, we've been connected for a long time, man. <laughs> would you rather eat a pie-filled... With baby, with baby poop. Poop. Pa- poop. Poop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or shit the corners of all your teeth with a nail clipper. <sighs> just, just, Ugh. just the idea of chipping the corners off your teeth, like just that, just made me all cringe. your teeth, all of them. Yeah, that made me cringe. Yeah, I need a, I need a pie. Oh yeah, no, would I? No, mm. I don't know. Depends. Can I add anything to it? <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. Can I add anything to it? Uh, I don't know, man. That's fucked up. It is. Know. You, you're good. You're good with asking the hard ones, though. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like, if 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 I can add. Like a bunch of like whipped cream to it or something, or like I don't know something to kind of mask the taste a little bit, like as much as I can anyway. Uh, maybe, I, I maybe know, that I'm, rather than I'm kind of leaning towards chipping my teeth. Um, no, actually, no. I eat. I don't know. It's hard. It's fuck. Okay, get. I eat your shit. Yeah, exactly. Because think it, like again. This this is another question where it's like think about how long you have to deal with it after rather than the other one, like. The pie won't. That's true. You, you eat that for like maybe if if you get through it in like an hour, that's over with. If you chip your teeth, you and gotta deal with it forever. Yeah, you're gonna deal with it forever unless you go and get that shit fixed, with co- which costs thousands of dollars. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> you have a sprinkle of cinnamon. Wow. Um, uh-huh. okay. mm, uh, yeah. yeah, that might even make it worse. Maybe, right? maybe that would make it worse. Sprinkle of cinnamon. Does that mean I can douse it in fireball? I will douse it in fireball whiskey and that might make it better, I guess. Um, <laughs> fuck yeah, man. Let's do it, Mark. Absolutely. Get to working on some music, man. I'd, I'd be more than happy to do some hooks for you, verse for you, whatever, man. Because like, 
I, I mean, I tend to do kind of singing verses, but still, I mean, hey, if the beat makes moves me enough, I might do a rap verse. But then again, I, then then I have to, then I have to live well, up. You're to actually you. you're you're good at rap. You're not that fucking bad, man. You're actually decent at rap. Thanks, man. Yeah, I appreciate good. that. Yeah, I'm just like, I see the the issue with me calling myself a rapper. Like, I don't tend to now. Like, I used to. During my first album, I did, but the reason I don't now is because... I think it's safer to label yourself as the thing that you're best at. Yes, exactly. Like, I'm I'm more a singer than I can't sing, or, or very, I wish I could. Yeah. But I can't, so I label myself a rapper because I'm good at rapping. Exactly. So it's like, I'm, I'm more like a singer who raps sometimes. Like, and I'm the opposite. I'm a yeah. rapper who sings sometimes. Exactly. So, like, I, I rather that, like, because, like... The the issue is, is like a good rapper can rap on pretty much any beat. Me, yeah. I can't. The beat has to really move me in a certain way and really yeah. inspire me to write the lyrics that I want to write. You know, um, and if it doesn't, then it's just it's just not going to work out and it's going to be a shit verse and I won't put it out anyway. So what's the point? You know, <laughs> um, maybe a sprinkle of icing sugar. Yeah, the, the shit pie. Shit pie. <laughs> it's so disgusting though because it's yeah. like just imagine being in a situation that you're chomping into it for like I don't know but okay think about this as well though not that it makes it that much better but think about how good like a really good sugary pie crust though like a really nice sugary like an if ac- there's shit behind it it doesn't Look, man. It, it, that look, kind of makes it worse. <laughs> maybe, but <laughs> we'll see. Look, but, um, well, not we'll see because it's not happening. But <laughs> dude, so I actually, we'll I, I'm actually leaning more towards chipping my teeth now and just wearing grills. Dude, have you seen a video of somebody like chipping their teeth with a nail clipper? No, of course not. Why would I see that? What the fuck? I is saw that? it. I saw it come up on Facebook once. Are you kidding me? Can't, no, don't even show me, bro. That's fucked up. Dude, this will change your mind. I know it will. <laughs> oh, alright, go on. Fine, okay. That's fucked up. Um, okay, well, it's more... I, I've seen it in a meme. But that's what it looks like. Bullshit. Yeah. That's brutal. I don't want to... Dude, turn that off. That's fucked up. I don't want yeah. to see that. Yeah. So... I don't want to see that. Now what's your answer? <laughs> no, I'm eating so much shit, bro. <laughs> I'm going to eat a bucket of shit for the rest of my fucking life. Mm-hmm. That's fucked up. I don't even know what the fuck. Imagine trying to eat ice cream with that. Bro, don't even start me, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. That's fucked up. All right. Would you rather get beaten and peed, uh, peed on up by a group of Sudanese youths? You spelled Sudanese wrong, by the way. Um, or be yeah, or be yeah. held down by an Asian gang with one member takes off his medical mask and coughs and licks your face. Second. The second one, because just 100%. because he's, yeah, because just because he's Asian doesn't mean he's Chinese. One, and even if he is Chinese, doesn't mean he's from Wuhan. Like this motherfucker could have grown up in Australia. Yeah, you racist. racist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect one in mind. I'll show you soon. I've got a song called Ladi Ladi, or Ladi Ladi, uh, and the chorus is way too technical for me. But if you can hit hit the notes, it'll be a vibe. It'll be like mad. Fuck yeah, man. I'm down. You send that shit to me, man. 100%, man. Get shit cracking. Yeah, keep your teeth nice. Yeah. Absolutely, man. I mean, my, my teeth are kind of yellow, to be honest. Like, they're a little bit yellow. But, I mean, I try. But I, 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 might, get, uh, I might get Invisalign if I had the money. I would, bro. If yeah. I had the money, I'd have braces for right now, bro. Because, like, my, my teeth aren't that bad, but, like, I Even have, like... still, bro. And my teeth are actually tight. Like, I actually get fucked with teeth. Like, they're alright. But my teeth, like, just, like, they hang over a bit too much. And Mine are like... actually just fucked up. Like, they're still okay. They suit me in a fucked up 
shit teeth sort of way, but like, I still rather have them good. Hmm. Like, you know how some people have shit teeth, but it suits them? Yeah. 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 Like, there's definitely, like, um... Like, like it's as as bad as this sounds like, there's definitely some hillbilly people in the US that, like, they're, they're kind of... If, if they have kind of crooked teeth, like, it just... It, it kind of matches them. So, yeah. It suits them. It's, yeah, in a weird sort of... Yeah, like to the way. point where like you kind of don't even notice it. It's just like yeah, it's who they are. I agree. Yeah. Okay, so apparently this Asian dude who's coughing and licking your face is has got COVID. No, oh, bro. bro. Why? Why specific? Like, bro, come on, bro. I ain't getting no COVID, bro. Yeah. Actually, what was the first option, bro? Uh, getting peed Get on by a Sudanese gang. Uh, Sudanese youth. Oh, uh, actually, COVID. I f- I'm so young and fit and. Uh, get, I would get rid of COVID, I think, pretty fast, so I think I'd pick COVID. The thing is, I don't know if I would, because I've got chronic asthma, so I already have pre- oh, a pretty sh- bad respiratory system, so I don't think, yeah. I, yeah, true. I, I, I'm, I'm getting pissed on. I know that I would, <laughs> I would 100% survive COVID <clears throat> really fast, and I'd take multivitamins every day and shit, like, I'd get over it yeah. real quick. Like, th- these are the kind of times where I wish I had, like, a, a fucking bunker. So, if I did get COVID, like, I would just mm. isolate myself in that fucking Bro, bunker. Bro, people who made doomsday preps are actually, uh, not, not as fucking retarded as they seem. No. They're actually not. So. They're definitely not. They're, they're, yeah. Yeah. I would love to have doomsday prep. I just don't want to put all that fucking effort and retardation into it. Get, like, That's why when you have enough money, you yeah. pay someone else to do it. <laughs> like yeah. a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure Donald Trump has a bunker that he never fucking put effort into. Yeah, well, I mean, he, he's already taking fucking anti-COVID shit. He literally, like, had a had a fucking press conference, and he's, and he's like, yes, this, this is anti-COVID. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. And so many other people are, too. You know, it like... <laughs> what a shit cunt. Yeah, like, oh. Same cunt who fucking took so long to react to it because yeah. this boy always pissed his bag as normal for and fucking killed so many people because of it. Well, that explains why when he goes out, he doesn't even wear a fucking face mask. It's just like, fuck it. He's a piece of shit, bro. He's <laughs> yeah. actually a piece of absolute shit. Mm-hmm. Spice I'm actually drinking this shit. I'm actually going to go through it. I feel like it's cold. Yeah, well, it's, it's basically yeah. fucking pneumonia. Me and Ryan wouldn't even know we had it, yeah. Our genetics, we yeah. deal with uh, viruses pretty fucking easily. Mm-hmm. Would you rather have uh, dicks up your back like a stegosaurus or be banged by a group of sumo wrestlers every day? Uh, every day for the rest of your life? Nah, I'd do mm. the first one. Yeah, the first one, because it, it was, okay, so if it was, like, one time, a group of sumo wrestlers, like, most sumo wrestlers, they're quite large, and they're, and they're Asian, so their dick's probably, like, anyway, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm joking, no, no racial, but, still with that in mind, the, the, the group, like, if it was just one night, then probably that, but, no, they're, they're, they're I'm a stegosaurus. With penises on my back, um, that that would be the one. <laughs> yeah, definitely the first yeah. one. Go in China, guys. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. They covered that shit up, and it was just it was just stupid. But we've also got to be careful not to say uh, the the actual name of it. Why? Because uh, Facebook and YouTube actually tend to block certain videos with that in it. Why? Because they don't want people monetizing off this pandemic, basically. As if cunt, they get money from it. Of course they want that. No, well, the, the thing is just, I don't know, they, they try to act like they have morals sometimes. They don't have they fucking don't. morals at all. No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Holy shit. Dicks off your back is pretty cool. Yeah, man. Yeah, bro, of course, bro. I love having dicks in my back, bro. Mm. It's very, you know what, man? Five bitches sitting on my back. Hey, <laughs> oh, man. imagine if you get fifteen girls to make them all go off at once. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, that that would get so many views on Pornhub. Like, oh my mm. god. 
Yo, have you been seeing this fucking flip the switch challenge thing on Pornhub? The what? Flip the switch challenge. What's that? So basically, there's like a a Drake song, Flip the Switch or something, and it started out as just like a a completely innocent TikTok thing that was like literally like okay like it's like yeah the song starts flip the switch and like when it when it goes flip the switch they turn the lights off and then it's like a completely different scene what people have been doing on Pornhub is like it seems like a normal normal scene and then they flip the switch and then all of a sudden they're just fucking each other basically (laughs) and they're doing something like it's the weirdest That sounds shit. like some sort of shit that fucking Brody posts in group chat. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, oh, yeah. it's just... They are, like, as much as I hate TikTok, like, that was such an innocent thing and they've just made it such a fucking disgusting thing. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> wait, would you rather... Would you rather push a pin through your own eye or through the eye of a baby you don't know? My own eye. Hundred percent. I wouldn't even think twice about that. My own yeah. eye. There's no way I would fucking put my. No, I wouldn't harm a baby. Yeah. Ever. Like the thing is, like when when the when the situation's not in front of you, like you kind of think about it, but then it's like when you're actually looking this baby in the eyes. Yeah, no, there's like, no, no way you could do it. No, I can't do it. Even a dog, bro. I'd rather fucking kill myself than kill a dog any mm. any time of the day. Like, I just care too much about like pure innocent life. I could never like. I always uh consider the other life before my own. Yes. A hundred percent. That that being said, your life is important too. Yeah, of course. Take care of yourselves, people. Yeah. Well, that, it's never going to come to that, luckily. Yeah, exactly. So. Exactly. Not the fucking Hunger Games. Not anymore. I mean, we ate. I watched the Hunger Games today, actually. Yeah? Early, before I came over, I actually watched the Hunger Games. I still haven't watched any of them. You know, honestly, <laughs> I, they didn't execute it as well as they could have, but the, uh. the story of the Hunger Games is actually a genius. Like, uh-huh. The actual, uh, the whole plot is amazing. It actually, the whole plot of the Hunger Games is pretty good. You know, come and get your brother. Alright. <laughs> what do you say? Said nah, I killed the dog. Oh god, <laughs> fuck that. Who, who's whose man's is this? You need to come get, come get your man's, all right? <laughs> uh, be prepared. To, be prepared to call you baby Stevie Wonder. Sorry, I wouldn't. Oh that. yeah. Well, no, because it's just one eye, so you know it's not both of them. So it's so more more like Fetty Wap. I'll be Fetty Wap. Fucking Fetty. Wow. Yeah, babe. Fuck that fetty. <laughs> per- hey. Perfect example. <laughs> perfect example of someone with no talent who makes funny they don't deserve. Yeah, I mean, like, I, th- I think he can sing, but he doesn't. He doesn't sing properly. And he he can. D- he can't sing, bro. Come on, dude. Like, I, I think, I think he can sing better than. Let's see. I can see, I think he sings better than Future. For sure. What, anyone can sing better than 90% of the m- most modern artists, but that's because 90% of the most modern artists fucking suck dick cunt. Well, yeah. They suck. She could... Wait, she could close one eye, Jaden. She could be bling. What are you on about that? Wait, okay, no, no. She is she is a wonder man. I got her a drum kit because she's talented. She holds a beat and she knows the name of all the girls. talking about his daughter. Oh, fuck yeah, man. That's so dope. That's so dope, man. No, definitely get this. Get these kids into music, man. Call it some Jace Harris. Why do people keep asking me that? I fucking yeah. hate Jace Harris. She's a fucking hoe bag or he's a fucking faggot cunt. That's my last thoughts on that bitch. Dude, get, getting kids into music is, like, the best thing, I think. Because, like, th- think about it like this. Like, I... So, during high school, instead of after school, going to hang out with my friends... Doing whatever it is, whatever it is, I could have been doing fucking drugs or whatever. I on on Wednesdays I was looking forward to going to uh to Amherst Amherst Library and I went to an after school music program, and we played gigs, we organized gigs, we did all that shit, man. We just fucking jammed out. Sometimes it was just it was dope for just like a, just like two three hours, just fucking chilling and playing music, man. That shit really 
like if they're really into it, then absolutely cherish that shit, man. For real. Mm. Like, that's why my parents watch. Just like you, you could do a fucking worse shit. Like, <laughs> mm. like, so, like, pretty much like. I, like, I, I pretty much even when I was in high school, like, I'd, I'd either be doing those after school programs with music, or. I'd be in my room just making music. I'd lock myself in my room and I'd be making music. Like, what the fuck? Fuck, I miss I miss <laughs> People wow. love me talking shit about that fucking spot. Hey. Mm. <laughs> but the thing is, everyone knows my thoughts because everyone has the same thoughts. No one fucking likes that bitch. So, like, there's no point in asking me. Ask yourself, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Fucking. You gotta ask yourself. What do you think? Do you feel lucky? Huh? Here again, talking about <laughs> one of those chicks in school get was like quote unquote fucking popular, but they weren't like even hot or even remotely a good person. It was just I mean, like she, a yeah, totally I'm, shit cunt, like fucking yeah. loser, fucking total loser, total fucking. So was, was she like popular or was she popular? You know, <laughs> both. Yeah, okay. She was Fair absolutely enough. broke, and <laughs> she, there was n- nothing, nothing good about her whatsoever. Nothing. Mm. Not good looking, not a good fucking personality, totally bland fucking loser, and I have no idea what the attraction was. No idea whatsoever. Mm. And I think a lot of people have the same opinion. Yeah, I need chicks like that in high school, man. Like, they get fucking passed around stupid. by the fucking rugby guys and, and shit. If she used, she bullied everyone. Did she, like, she thought she was... She's the sort of person that thinks uh, she's better than everyone, even yeah. though she has no right to think so because she's like nothing. Yeah. Absolutely no- nobody. So. The weird thing was, it's just like the onion chicks like that that were like, they. Okay, so I, I was cool with all the rugby guys because like I'd, I'd be singing at fucking assemblies and shit, and like all the rugby guys are like Maori dudes, South African dudes, they fucking love R&B and shit. So they're just like, okay, you sing, that's fucking dope. Like, I had, I had so much respect from the rugby guys, and then this there was, like, a couple of chicks that, like, that would get basically passed around by the rugby dudes. And, that's fine. And they, they, they absolutely fucking hated me. I have no idea why. I'm just like, okay, cool. Like, <laughs> who the fuck are you? Like, <laughs> uh, what's his notification? I hit the mic. Sorry. Uh, it's me mother. Alright. Hey, David Follow, Jaden Jesse. Yeah, thank you, David. Thank you, David. Uh, yeah, man. So we're doing, we're still at six, man. That's dope. Yeah, that actually is dope as fuck. I think it's because I've been talking shit about fucking jazz, and now I've got people watching that know it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> 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 Um, I don't know who Barry Bennells is. Would you rather eat a plate of dog shit while your enemies watch and film it, or would you <laughs> dried up cum? Just a one kilo bag of dried up cum. That uh, that would kill you. So probably yeah. It would actually kill you. So I I picked the first one. One kilo. Of Wait, anything we... would kill you. Oh yeah, well that yeah, the the amount. Unless it's you. food, like one kilo of anything snogging it would fucking kill your ass. Yeah. Thoughts on crabby? Thoughts on crabby pink pants? Uh, I know who you're talking about now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't understand how the fuck he gets so many hot girlfriends. Mm. Some cunt. I'm gonna be right back. I I'm actually have no idea. I, no, he's alright. He's a nice guy. I mean, uh, there's nothing wrong with him, but like, I don't understand how he gets so many hot girlfriends. No, like, no fucking clue. A- absolutely clueless to that. But, um, yeah, you're alright. Cool guy. I'll be back, y'all. I'm just gonna go to him. <laughs> yeah. You see, I'm not a bully. Like, I don't fucking bully people who I think are like. Because I don't think anyone's less than me. I think everyone is equal unless they prove themselves to not be. So, like, someone like Jazz is someone who they're totally equal until they prove themselves 
in my eyes, to be a total piece of shit. So, proved herself to be a total piece of shit, so she's a fucking piece of shit, and that's all it is. Whereas some, someone like Crab, like, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's only so funny to make fun of someone. Like, you, you can't fucking take away from what kind of person they are. You can say, oh, he's funny, he looks funny, but, like, at the end of the day, you're not going to say it to their face. You probably shouldn't say it behind their back either. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, it's a child's game. It's a child's game to make fun of people. And there's a difference between making fun of people and uh, calling people out because they're shit people. Massive difference. So, but I'll always ask, I'll always answer a question genuinely if I'm asked a question. So, um, you know. A hundred kilos. Would you rather <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. You know, keep coming with your questions. Guess who's back? Back, back again. again. Jaden's back. You have Tell no my friends. friends. What? <laughs> <laughs> I said you have no friends. Oh my god. Not you. But <laughs> Peace, bro. I love you. Later, Mark. We will definitely chat about that collab. Hundred percent. Yeah. Um, bro, yeah, come over soon and we'll sort that out. Because there's a lot of games that I want you to, like, I think you'll fucking love that you can play. Fuck yeah, man. On your big ass TV. Yeah, dude. It's <laughs> you. It's like, um, two and a half times the size of that one. Jeez. It's actually fucking massive. Jeez. I don't know how many ink it is, but it's fucking retarded. Uh, so, I, I didn't answer that question, I don't think. Uh, would you rather eat a tongue shit or a dog shit? Well, it's not, okay. And then he changed it to 100 grams of cum. Instead of dried, dried oh, up Oh, 100 cum. grams. 100 grams yeah, of dried up Yeah, I do 100 grams. Time. I'll probably take 100 kilograms and whatnot. Yeah. 100 grams of dried up cum. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, it's fine. Easy. Um, <laughs> thoughts on Nathan Brown. I love like Nathan Brown. And you know what else is, you, know, you want to hear something crazy? Me and Nathan were born... In the same country, Scotland, in the same hospital, Bells Hill Maternity, on the same day. The fuck? And we ended up going to the same high school in Perth. That's insane. We were born on the same day, same hospital in Scotland. You guys aren't meant to be lovers or something. It's actually retarded. <laughs> um, fucking... Oh, uh, 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 yeah, of course, bro. There's nothing wrong with Nathan Brown. I love Nathan. Unless he's got a problem with me. I, I, you know, I don't know if anyone talks shit. Uh, it's a funny thing. You can say you like people, but you have no idea whether someone talks behind your back. You yeah. know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. 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 yeah it's cool. I, I love Nathan. The thing is, I don't really even care. Like, if, if, if somebody has a problem with me, like, I'm just like, cool. That's, that's yeah, it's kind of like, um, if, it, if it comes up, then it's a problem. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. Like, if they, like, full-on confront you and they're just like, hey, I don't like you because well, of that. even if I'm told, oh, this guy's been talking shit about you and there's proof, then it's kind of like, I message them and I'm like, bro, why, why are you such a fake fuck? Why the fuck are you talking shit behind my back? I've never done that to you. Like, what, what have I done to make you so insecure about yourself that you have to talk shit about me? Yeah. You know what I mean? Just like, why are you, why are you talking shit? If there's something going on, why can't you just make me like a fucking man and hash this shit it, out? It's popular in Australia for some reason to talk shit about people behind their backs. And I fucking despise it. I think it's disgusting. Yeah. I absolutely think it's disgusting. I'll never talk shit about someone behind their backs, ever. Yeah. Unless they, there's a reason. Like, they don't... They, they've dogged me. Yeah, exactly. That, but that's not even talking shit at that point. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just fucking... Thoughts on Guy Sebastian. He is the reason He's that I started music. Incredible singer, bro. He is. Absolutely incredible singer, bro. Literally, in 2003, when I saw him win Australian Idol, that that was the that was the point where I'm like, you know what? I want to be a singer. 100%. Yeah, it's sick, bro. I'm like, and this, Bagel, this... Bagel Sky is fuck. Yeah, man. Dude, fucking incredible. Lupe. Lupe. Yeah. Lupe is one of the best lyricists ever, in my opinion. Like, for real. Lupe is so dope. 
But like for real, man. Like when he when when guy won in two thousand and three, I'm like, you know what? If this if this sixteen year old dude with the voice of an angel and an afro can do this shit, so can I. And I've been yeah. working ever since. I got the All same right. thing with Greeley. Yeah, I told you about this. I'm, I'm oh, like, so. I found, I, like, I walked into him and then like he started messaging me and then from then on I was like, you know, this shit's fucking possible. Yeah, you know? it doesn't. You don't have to be uh, in ordinarily superhuman to make something of yourself. So yeah, man. I mean, I'm I'm friends with Guy Sebastian. He has a brother on Facebook. If anything, yeah, that's crazy. If anything, the majority of uh, successful people are people who started with uh, nothing. Yeah. What does that say to you? People who started with less than what probably me and you have. What's this? Those are generally the people who are become the most successful. You know why? Because they know what it's like to have nothing. Yeah. And so they give more. They yeah. work harder. If you're giving everything on a silver platter, why are you going to work harder? Exactly. Dude, I, What's I, the motivation? I saw a fucking episode of 30 Rock that had that shit in it recently. Like, it was, like, basically, like, Alec, Alec Baldwin's character was, like, being blackmailed into getting his enemy's children into, like, the most prestigious school ever, which meant that his kid couldn't get in. And then he's like, but, I mean, I came from nothing, too. So her coming from nothing, that's going to be fine, too. She'll fucking do it because she's, she, she's fucking my blood. Like, that's the thing, like, you come from nothing, and you make something of yourself, your story is going to be much more appealing, like, rather than somebody saying, like, oh, yeah, well, like, I, my family was rich, they, they they bought me everything that I needed, so that was cool. Like, no, that's that's not interesting in, in no. any way, and it doesn't build character. No. And honestly, I don't know, I, I still feel like, even if I was born into a rich family, and I was handing all those shit, I would still feel the overwhelming urge to want to make my own person like i don't know i feel like that's just something you're born with or you're not um i don't know i feel like if i was born rich and i had it would actually be a burden because yeah. you have these people behind you telling you that you're only this because you had that yeah you know that's something you have to fight yeah. whereas if you come from the bottom up there's only positives there's only like Oh my god, bro, you were fucking, you lived in Huntingdale, you were fucking poor as shit your whole fucking life, you went through your shit, and like, now you're this, and it's all your hard work. You yeah. Know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, same, same fucking reason why fucking Prince Harry and Meghan Markle left the royal family. So much fucking pressure to do with that, they're getting, yeah, they have the, they have money left, right, and centre to, to deal with all the stuff that they need to deal with, and put their kids through school and everything, but that's not real. Mm. That's that's just shit being handed to you and not having to work for it. They, yeah, totally, bro. And that's that's why they left. Cause bro, they and work. honestly, I I can't imagine what it's like to live a life where a, the, from the moment you're born, everything is just so easy. Because yeah. I've I've time after time been hit with shock after shock of like. Life fucking me up the arse. Like, oh my god, I just got fucking bashed. Oh my god, I'm getting chased by some guy with a fucking knife down the street. Oh my god, I just got kicked out of both my parents' houses and I'm fucking 18 years old and I'm homeless now. Oh my god, constantly over and over and over and over again. And, um, regardless, I'm here today and I have no expectations for myself but to be as hard working as I can I always make my number one priority being happy no matter what there's nothing worth not being happy I will if, if if I'm with a girl and she's not and she's making me less happy then I would be by myself fuck you you're gone that's that's my priority is being happy and uh, being in an environment where I'm conducive to uh, making my career and my life go forward in a positive direction those are my two priorities yep. and um i think that compared to uh, the majority of people i've been through a lot of shit and i can still say that i'm coming out the other side and i'm a good fucking human being yep 
100%. So there's that, but and all you can do is fucking work hard. You there's there's another option. You can winch and you can complain and and blame people for your fucking failures. Where's that gonna get you? Nowhere. Yeah. It will get you absolutely nowhere. Exactly. And I'm fucking proud of your comma. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Uh, would you rather piss sand forever? Or eat your mum's used tampon every time of the month. Man, we just had that, like, straight up DNM, and then now you want to go with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said that three minutes ago, but still. Um, okay, uh, oh, fuck me. Every month compared... Okay, I, I like piss hair forever. Mm. I agree with tampon. A sand forever, I'm assuming, is like every meal ever go. Well, yeah, you, we piss sand. Yeah, no, nah, fuck that. No, nah, I'd, I'd eat your tampon, sorry. Even though that's fucking... It's... Ugh. It's... Ugh. Nah, I, f I feel like... I feel like pissing sand, you'd eventually get used to it. Eventually. But doesn't that mean you have to eat the sand? No, you piss it. You get rid of it. You excrete it. Would you rather... Okay. No, no, I'll grab a piss sand. Yeah. I, I was assuming that you meant like you get like eat sand every fucking meal. I'd rather eat a tampon. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, no, you, you, saying, mix, you mixed up. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. I get right. used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you get used to pissing sand. Not only that, like you think about that compared to passing a kidney stone, it's probably it's probably better to pass sand, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, <sure>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you asked me to do this cipher. Yeah, we're loving the questions, man. Yeah, but here we are. No, Absolutely. totally, bro. Keep, keep going, Wiggum. Get even more creative. Like, you're, honestly, boys, mean, you've asked the most uh, interesting, thought provoking questions of anyone. Yep. So, keep going, man. Mm -hmm. And um, I think my mate Kento, who's one of my producers at the studio, is watching right now. So, Dope. Yo, Kento, um, he said the audio is pretty quiet. Okay. Let me... Yo, that's a bit louder now. So Wait, that's, that might be too loud, actually, because it was peaking on the thing. So. Oh, true. Sure. Yeah. That might be a bit better. Cool. So, Kento, bro, ask us questions. Anything about projects, anything about uh, music styles, anything about anything. Silly questions. Whatever's going to make you laugh. Whatever, bro. Move the mic a little bit closer too, that might help. But yeah. Yeah man. Anything and everything, we answering it all. Anything and everything, man. I've had a glass of whiskey and I had this bottle full of Pinot. <laughs> we lit. Alright. <laughs> Have you got more of your swan shit? I think mum does, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I don't know why I went back to seeing like Fetty Wap. Actually, honestly, let's be serious here. If we're talking about, alright, what red wine, yeah, it tastes gross. And not many people would decide to drink it. But when you do drink it, red wine fucks you up a lot faster than other, other types of alcohols. Yeah. Do you agree? Red wine yes. actually fucks you yeah. Yep, he did some crazy shit last time on Red Wine. I'm not going to go into Shut it, but he just... Ah! He did some crazy shit. Wait, what? I don't even remember everything. Where did I go? Huh? I don't even remember everything. Where did I go? Man, you fucking hit my mind at the end, man. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't... Uh-huh. Yeah, you did. All right. Everybody chalked it up to you being drunk, so it was fine. Yeah. All right. And I said it was. I said it was kind of, um, kind of their fault because they gave you the other bottle of wine. It's kind of funny. Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I go. You know. I'm honestly being serious. I even remember. Yeah. I literally don't even remember. I woke up and I was like, "What the fuck." <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Crazy. Shit got crazy. 
So, um, yeah, <laughs> they learn all about it. No, nah, you don't need to know. There's, there's, there's something between homies. I swear, like, cause, cause my skin's starting to flare up on, on my face. Like, I, I'm looking like I have rosy fucking cheeks. Like, <laughs> I, I swear, every time I come over, my face looks raised fucking in the um. Just, I don't know, it's the lighting scheme. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm gonna need to get a new light soon because it looks like uh, some of the globes are well, one of the globes is burnt out. Looks like. True, I can see that. Yeah, I only just noticed that when I turned it on tonight. So, <laughs> yeah. well, well, still works. And it was like it was like twenty bucks on Wish, so who, who gives a fuck? I've had it for like fucking two, two and a half years. No shit. Yeah. You asked me, Goose. All right, so it was okay. Would question. you rather uh, have your pubic hair fake to your mother every day, or wake up with someone's pubes in your mouth? Honestly, uh, if I just got done eating the coochie, eating the coochie the night before, then that li- little bit of pubes in your mouth is kind of normal. It depends what. Uh, uh, I'm assuming he means guy pubes. To be honest. No, just someone's pips, and yeah. you can't change it to just guys' pips. Uh, it's at someone's. So, if I was eating the cookie the night before, then that's fine. Mm. That's fine with me. A little, little bit of pips. I don't know, bro. I, I actually hate. I, I, I wouldn't go down. I, I, I wouldn't go down on a chick if she had hair. I wouldn't go down on a chick if she was, if she was like, uh, if she was like completely growing out. And but honestly, like trimmed, I, okay. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. These days, I don't even go and go down on a chick in general because I think get vaginas that aren't gay attractive. Who the fuck are you, DJ Khaled? <laughs> <laughs> DJ Khaled just, doesn't eat the eat the cat either. Okay, <laughs> no. No, I, I just don't think that I don't know. I I'd rather not if I have the choice. Well, I know for a fact that I'm good at eating the cat, so I like doing it. Okay. So. <laughs> But I don't expect them to go down on me either. Like, it's kind of like whatever sort of thing. Mm. But then again, I'm not in a relationship, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Like, we just do whatever. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't expect nothing full stop. But it, it depends because uh, <laughs> nice pussies aren't that common. If you have a nice pussy, I'll eat you. You know what I'm saying? If you if they have a nice pussy, they'll, you'll just eat all of them. Like, just eat them, swallow them completely whole. Like just, yeah, bro. <laughs> just cool. cause that's the thing. It just, it's just like Jerry, they have a nice pussy. I'm just gonna eat you. If you have a nice, <laughs> if you have a nice mood, I'll swallow your hole. You know what I'm saying? Like cannibalism. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, but you know, you, like realistically, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. If you got those fucking mug flaps gone, like maybe once and then like never again. <laughs> I mean, dude, like, I've, I've been with, like, not, she wasn't a big girl, but, like, a bigger girl, and, like, I mean, it does, doesn't bother me. I mean, she was shaved, but oh, still. I, gu- I guess you're more of a gentleman than me. I have high standards for some, I have high, I have really fun. No, you just like what you like. That's I have, high yeah, standards. I have high standards, man. So. Uh, yeah, like, you, you like what you like. Me, I'm just, like, hey. I'm, I'm the sort of guy that, like, when someone gets with me, I want him. Like, I, you, if you get with me. I'm gonna be me, and you're not gonna change me. And this is who you're going with. Yeah. And if you end up not liking it, we're breaking up. Because I told you at the start, this is me. Cool. So if you like me, we can be together. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. You're not gonna. Ch- you. I'm not gonna compromise. Yeah. This is me. You know what I'm saying? That's one yeah. of my things. You know. Yeah. Well, because like, if if you've already like let let them know from the start, and then they still get into your, it, then always your like, then it's like, well, well, why are you acting surprised? Like <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like I'm me, and like, there's like, I don't know. I'm not. Even though, even when you say that, I've had girls that. Uh, get with me, and then they try to change me regardless of whether I've said that or not. Yeah, and then it's kind of like, what are you doing, bro? I'm breaking up with you. Fuck off. Because bitches be like, I can save him. Yeah. Like, no. Like, bro, I don't need saving. I'm actually all good. You're the one that's fucking taxed because you got with me and you're trying to change. I ain't trying to change you. I, I yeah. fight with you because I like you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're, you, you're you not supposed to be trying to be Captain Saver Ho. I'm not supposed to be trying to be Captain Saver Ho. Ain't nobody saving no hoes. Yeah. All right? 
What's with that shit, bro? I hate that savior bullshit. Like, yeah. I don't need saving, bro. I'm fucking all good. She wanna be saved. She wanna get saved. I ain't gonna save you. Anyway, um, <laughs> title sign an 840. Anyway, uh, favorite non hip hop projects with high replay value? Asking Alexandria. Um, what's that album called? Reckless and Relentless. By Austin Alexandria, that album. Okay, I've got two, and they're, they're kind of on different sides of the spectrum, so bear with me. But so Jason Derulo's first album, Top to Tail, I can listen to that back to back every time. Um, and Rascal Flatts, a country album, Changed. That I can listen to that album, Top to Tail, back to back, and it's a great fucking album, man, for real. What's your thoughts on Hong, Hong Kong independence? Uh, I reckon it's a Brexit situation and motherfuckers should be thinking about that shit. Basically. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know enough about it, to be honest. I just pulled that um, out of my ass. Um, <laughs> all I can think is because... Um, I was born in Scotland, which uh, at one point, the whole of Europe is based is like because i was born in scotland i have a visa i can live in europe and never have a problem sort of thing like i have a double a visa um double life but then everything <laughs> everything became like independent like they sh- like cut off and shit i i actually have no idea where i stand now like i was born in scotland i have no idea where i can live or not so if hong kong's like independent i'm guessing what that means is that people who were born in hong kong don't have a right to live in other areas, they just have their rights to Hong Kong, which I would think that's bullshit because yeah. they were born in Asia. So fuck. Yeah, well, that, that's the thing. That, that's part of the reason why I don't like the fact that um, the UK thinks thought Brexit was a good idea. Like leaving the European Union, like they they they're not a party. It European doesn't even make logical sense why they would want to do that. It's yeah, just ego you go fucking fight. I don't know. I don't even know what would, why that would happen. I mean, the thing is, like, they act like, oh, we have a problem with people calling us European. No one calls British people European. They call them British. Exactly. They don't, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, when it comes to, like, f- maybe French or Italian or something, like, they'd be like, okay, yeah, they're, like, European. Cool. Like, or Sicilian or something. Like, it's Eastern European, whatever. But when it comes to British people, it's just like, they're British. That mm. don't, nobody says like, oh, you're European. No, nobody, you're, you're nobody gets shit. You came, no. yeah. <laughs> you came, bro. You came, bro. You came, bro. You came, <laughs> wait, bro. Are you came, boy? No, it's like you, you, you came, bros. You, you, you came, fam. <laughs> <laughs> probably think you came, boss. It sounds like slang for are you taking cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> you, you came. Are you came, bro? <laughs> I'll sell you that cane, boy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, that's that's me saying that people who take cocaine are fucking stupid and retarded. Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> bro. Yeah. Uh, bro, honestly, you know what's funny? I, I just... I'm smart enough to know that a lot of people would think just out of pure assumption that I do some sort of drug, like, weed or just anything, and I don't. No. I, I, I've, I stopped smoking weed when I was, like, 14 years old. Yeah. A long time ago, bro. Like, I don't take anything. It's funny. It, it's yeah. actually funny. Like, I don't know. I'll be, like, hyper sometimes, but, like, that's because I have ADHD, one, and two. But, mate, for all I know, no one thinks that I take drugs. For all I know. But I just assume it because I know that the way I was brought up makes me seem a certain way, but I, mm. I, I don't necessarily follow the rules of the sheep. Mm. I'm my own unique individual. Yeah. So I have my experiences. I'm real. I'm fucking uh, unique. I'm uh, genuine. But at the same time, I don't uh, fall for any traps. I don't fucking uh, take... I fucking can't stand drugs. I would not not fucking take drugs. Yeah. Ever. So, yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, people, people assume shit, uh, assume shit about, like, say, quote-unquote bogans and things like that. Like, I'm not saying that you're a bogan, but there, there yeah. are people that are very similar to you that are. And they yeah. would assume that, okay, yeah, they're all just fucking smoking weed well, and spending it, all their Centrelink money. It's true. I have, a cer- <laughs> I have a certain look that I developed from where I grew up, like, the people I've been around. Like, yeah. I look the way I look, you yeah. know. So, like, people can assume what they want, but at the end of the day, what do people actually know? Exactly. I have to tell you. I have to tell you. And then you got to listen to that. You don't know shit. Yeah. You don't know nothing. All right. <laughs> what, you, what you really got to know is that Cypher is hardworking. He wakes up, he does his job, and he doesn't take shit to get it done. He doesn't take drugs. Cypher will roll up behind you. Put a knife uh, right into your eye, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> so <good. laughs> I'm not saying it's not dodgy sides to my personality, because it definitely is. I, I, I grew up dodgy, but so obviously there's a level of dodgy in me. But it's not like, that doesn't overwhelm me. Like, I'm still a fucking normal, respectable human fucking being, so. Yeah, exactly. There's, like, you can, like, you can never get rid of where you're born. Like, if you're born in the street, you've got street in you, no matter what. You, it's just in you. Yeah. It doesn't mean it defines who you are as a fucking person. Yeah, I mean, even just being Aussie, like, the thing is, like, I, like, I could go to a, to a fucking meeting with some fucking executives and be like, hi, how you going, sir? It's very nice to meet you. It's, like, I'm doing this and this and this, that's... It's fantastic what you're doing, da 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 da, and then walk out of that room and say, "Hey, you fucking cunts, what's going on?" Like, <laughs> I don't. Just... You know, you kind of people. <laughs> this is what I hate about people in Australia in this uh, at the moment. Okay, because I've been around it. The people who I'm, I'm in a room, and as far as I know, like there's two people in a room. And the person I'm hanging out with is like, Hey man, I missed you. You're such a good guy. So, uh, like, we're yeah, having a good chat. And as far as I know, there's a good chat going on. They're friends. And then as soon as we leave the room, I fucking hate that guy. He's a shit guy. I hate that. I cannot fucking stand people who are fucking fake and talk shit about people behind their bats and say something else to your face. If you're like that, you got... Deep city issues. You need to fucking... You're fucked up. I don't want to ever be friends with someone who's like that. Honestly. That you're not me. genuine. You're fake. You're a fake fuck. And it's a problem in Australia. Because a lot of people in fucking Australia are taught and bred to be fake fucks. And I fucking can't stand it. Everyone that talks shit behind everyone's fucking back. That reminds me. i got to go talk to somebody. It's not about you. <laughs> Alright, but I've got to talk to something. I'm kidding. Yeah, you <laughs> Oh wait, are oh, you joking? Oh. I'm joking, man. <laughs> <laughs> Britain left the Europe because the European Union wanted to flood them with the econ- economic migrant and was making laws for them. Well, if you're if you're in a Euro- European Union, then the Union absolutely would make laws for you. That's because you a, a Union would make would make rules for the for the Union. Of the United People. You know, now that I'm on the topic of fucking uh, problems with Aussies, right? Let's be real right now. I'm going to be absolutely real. And this is not uh, something that you can say is just an opinion. It's completely objective. Something that I've observed. Motherfuckers in this fucking country, one of the biggest problems is ignorance. You message some kind of they don't answer you back for no good reason and it's like 90% of the time 90% of people shit like that um people talk to you like they like you and behind your back they're telling people you're a piece of shit that's fake if you do that if you are a person that's nice to someone and then behind their back you say you talk shit about them you're a fake fuck. There's something wrong with you. You, you honestly, not that's that's not an exaggeration. Like that's not a normal human act of behavior because we're pack animals. We're supposed to uh, protect each other. 
You're not supposed to talk shit about each other behind your backs, especially when you're supposed to be like this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, bro? We're, we're all part of the same race, the human race. Yeah, and like, what are you getting out of it? That's insecurity, right? So, a big problem in Australia is everyone... Not everyone. There's a lot of extroverts. But 90% of motherfuckers in this country are introvert and insecure. And if they see anyone doing better than them, they want to shit on them. And then, on the opposite side of the scale, they'll these sh- the sheep people want to follow the fucking pack. So if, like... Or if everyone, let's say, uh, Lil, Lil fucking Pink comes out tomorrow. Lil Pink, he's got the biggest song, he gets millions of views. Just because he has a million views, and everyone's f- friends are talking about him, and his name's Lil Pink, and he's posting fucking songs about, uh, having sex with goats. Just because his name's, he, like, all his friends are into him, this guy, like, everyone's gonna be into him. Oh yeah, I love Lil Pink. Oh yeah, fucking sex with goats. And it's like... That's a product of marketing, and that's, that's a how persona. people are getting fucking money out of you, man. And it's, yeah. and it's like, I don't know, I, I understand that the majority of people can't help it, help being sheep, but at the same time, I want to encourage people to have their own fucking brains. Have your own brain. Decide, right? Okay, if this is good, why is it good? Why? Or decide if it's shit, why is it shit? Break shit down. Use your fucking brain. Don't just follow what your friends like. Don't just follow what everyone else is following. Use your brain. Have your own fucking opinions. If you like someone and no one else likes them, who gives a fuck? Keep liking it. No. You know, if you like having fucking, uh... If you want blue hair... And you get blue hair, and people are talking shit about it, and people are like, Oh, why do you have blue hair? Who cares? If you like it, it doesn't fucking matter. It's you, and guess what? If you keep it, and you like it, and you tell people you like it, guess who are going to be friends with you? People who like you. You. Because you're not fake. Yeah. Fakeness is a fast track to being lonely, to being a sheep and to being sour and having a shit life. No fakeness, bro. Like, honestly, that's the biggest, the biggest problem in this country is fake people. Fake people. And look, deep inside, I know a lot of these fake motherfuckers, they, they don't have to be fake. They're just following what they know. Use your fucking brain, people. Use your, be yourself. Fuck's sake. You don't have to be like everyone else. You, I would rather die than be like everyone else. I would rather fucking die right now than be like, like, a generic version of everyone. An amalgamation. I would rather die. That's a death sentence. Because it's not real. It's not, you have to be you. At all fucking costs, man. So... That's all I can fucking say about it, you know. Like a shepherd who has sex with his sheep. Fuck what you heard. You know what that is? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what that is? That's good, yeah, I get it. Yeah. That's funny as fuck. <laughs> fucking M, man. Um, <laughs> oh, that was like the first thing I thought of when you, the times you were saying sheep. Like, <laughs> but it's true, man. Globalism is cancer. Oh, I don't know, man. A like, risk... Aristocrats are fucking cancer, bro. Mm. Aristocrats are poisoning everybody, bro. Mm-hmm. You'll never have that problem with Jay, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Real motherfucker right here, man. Damn straight. Of course. Damn it always straight. makes sure to... Like, I, honestly, I'm a bit paranoid. So, like, sometimes I've... I feel like people, like, I'll ask them if they don't like me, even if, like, they do like me, and it's like, I, I get paranoid, like, what and I'll be like, what like the like fuck me? are you talking about? What, is, what if he doesn't like me? What if I'm annoying him? I send him too many messages, or I've overstepped a boundary by doing this. You know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
I'm just like, fuck it. Like, honestly, like, he, he thought I was pissed off with him. Like, y you guys, if, if any of y'all came through, like, the stream that we did a little while back, um, where, like, Ryan went on a bit of a rant because some s some of my mates were saying they, some stupid honestly, shit. Honestly, now that I look back on it, they were actually being, like, total douchebags to me for no reason. Oh, they absolutely were. Absolutely no reason. Absolutely. But now I've actually squashed it with them. I've talked to them, like, yeah. With, but it was kind of like, um, I was just reacting to how I felt at the time. Like, yeah. knowing what I'm going out, it was my first strength. So knowing what I'm going out, I would ignore it. But yeah. regardless, it was still bullshit. And I was reacting yes. to what was happening to me. Like, the the main thing is, is just like, you don't just walk up to somebody on the street and say, you're a fucking cunt. Even though I don't know you, you're a cunt, I don't like you. Like, you don't say that to somebody. Yeah. Basically, like, because you, you, you don't know them, you don't know what they've been through. So, like, you know, it's it's cool when, like, I, I've got that rapport with somebody and we have a joke like that. It's like, okay, fine. But just to sp speak to somebody random and say that, like, this isn't, it's not... It's not right and it's disrespectful. Simple. Um, Alright, Aaron. Later, man. Love you, bro. Good to, good to fucking hear from you. Yes. And I hope you have a good sleep, man. Yes. Thank you so much for the questions, man. Yeah. Hang on. We got two motherfuckers. Yeah. I'm thinking we might we might finish this up soon. Yeah. We're like, on like three hours and 15 minutes. <laughs> no good, man. That's sweet. No, we've had a, a, a great stream. We're Fuck yeah, man. No, this has been the most successful stream for sure. Um, oh, actually, has a... Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm already fucking yawning. Because I spent most of the day walking around fucking Burger That's why. Burger Boragoomba, I want my fucking Boragoomba. <laughs> it's funny, I, was, I must have tripped my brother out, because like, in the morning like I woke him up, and I was like, we're heading off soon to Boragoon. <laughs> <laughs> I must have tripped him the fuck out, he was it half sound, like... It sounds like a brand of actual goon, like Boragoon. <laughs> Uh, hey, they need to get on that. City of Borogoon, you need to make some goon. Hey, bro, it's fucking only like 10 bucks for some Borogoon. <laughs> yeah, mate. Fucking squashed in Borogoon with, <laughs> with, with fucking Gary's infected toenail. Ugh. Fucking squashed with his bare feet. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking Gaza. <laughs> Gaza, <boy. laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're down to one person, which I'm guessing is my mother, so we should probably end this here. Um, anyway, Ryan, plug your shit, man. Yo, Cypher Music on Facebook. Uh, Cypher Music on YouTube, sorry. Cypher Music, one word, and Cypher spelt with an I and not a Y, because that's the incorrect way of spelling it. Uh, Instagram, SoundCloud, is Cypher Music. AU and um yeah hibernation mixtape coming soon yes so if you go on my page or my personal facebook depending on how you get into this video you'll be able to find either and you can pre-save my mixtape to your spotify and it's coming out in three days fuck yeah man and i'm yeah. on that shit i'm on it <laughs> yeah He's on it. With this fucking dope dude. What the fuck? <laughs> How does shit happen? Thanks, <laughs> man. I appreciate it. I got you. Alright. Um, so, if you're new here, my name is Jaden Jesse. Um, so, I have an album out right now, 19 track album, Honest. Um, it is R&B, and uh, this awesome dude is on it. He's on track 10, Don't Talk To Me. Um, don't talk to me. <laughs> uh, so, dope shit, man. Uh, please go and check that out. You can also go to my website, jadenjessymusic.com, and you can buy a signed physical copy of that album. Uh, it'll be shipped to you. It'll be signed by me personally. Personally shipped to you by me. Um, if you want to support me in some way, uh, go to Patreon, patreon.com slash jadenjesse. Uh, for as little as $1 a month, you can support me. Uh, but if you don't want to uh, sign up for a monthly thing, uh, feel free to sign up for... Well, 
not sign up, donate to my Patreon, uh, to my PayPal, sorry. Uh, $1, $5, $10. If you just want to help me out a little bit, that's fine. Um, and none of that is compulsory at all. If you can't and you're not in a position to do that, I understand some people aren't. That is completely not compulsory. Um, please just watch the heck out of my videos, come to the streams, stream the heck out of my album, and that is more than enough. I really appreciate that. And we got four people. If Ooh. I... Alright, because this is dead. If you're probably yep. saying... If I can get like eight people, will we keep going? For how long? For, well, I don't know. Fuck it. But if we can get eight people, will we keep going for like well? All right. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll your shit. Down there, this is this thing with my charger in it. Just unplug my charger or whatever. This one? Yep. Yeah. So unplug, unplug whatever, man. All right. Alright, let's see. We, we might it's be up, able to revive. It's up to, it's up to you, though. I'm just saying. Like, yeah. I, I can probably go it. It's just it, this thing fucking died. Yeah. And if we, hey, if we can revive it, cool. But, yeah, man. I, I hate like, giving up. You know? I, I'm yeah. a sort of person. I can't stand it. <laughs> Do you really think almost three and a half hours is given up? I don't think so. No, but... I don't think... I hate leaving on a bad note. I'd rather leave on a good We're not leaving on a bad note. We're promoting that shit. That's a good note. Mm. We're doing shit. We out here. We out here. We making something of ourselves. We out here. Alright, I got someone who's gonna come chat soon. Okay. Ask questions. Hey, for, if we can get some more questions, sure. Let's keep going. Either way, I just plug my shit. You just plug your shit. Dope. Alright. Um. Alright, we are waiting for you. But yeah, guys, please. Uh, if you want, if you want an album, if even if you want to stream it on on Apple Music or Spotify first, and then buy a physical copy signed, that'd be dope, man. That'd be cool. Um, so you have that, and then if I do end up famous, then you'll you'll have that forever. I'm gonna call my brother Troy. If he comes on, he will get us heaps of viewers. This is a funny thing. You know, ask funny questions. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm calling my brother. Yeah. Let's see if he answers. We're gonna finish up, but let's see let's see how this goes, man. Let's let's see if we can revive the stream. Yeah. Clear <laughs> Clear <laughs> <laughs> See we go. I got no messages. Um Played that to YouTube and that's gonna get copyright claimed. <laughs> really, <laughs> dude? Oh my god, I know, I know. Dude, dude. you have to tell me. It's fucked up. Are you Aboriginal? Me or, or well, obviously you're not asking Ryan. You know Ryan. No, I'm not Aboriginal. No. Nothing wrong with being Aboriginal, but I'm I'm just not. Uh, I am half, I'm half Indian, and half Aussie. I'm half retarded, half fat. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm an autistic savant, get King just rap, and that's it. <laughs> wow, man. Wow. Wow! 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 Heck to say <laughs> such a thing. <laughs> and the aliens are visiting. In my fucking brains. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
fuck are you talking about? Alright, right, fucking good. Alright, ask us motherfucking questions. We got four motherfuckers. Yeah. So, ask you some questions. Oh, I know who I can get on to ask some good ones. Yo, know what? While we're waiting for some questions, I'm gonna play one of, a new song of mine that I've been working on. Just a little bit of it. And it's so lit. I'm so. I'm loving it, man. I'm trying to get this uh, Sydney artist on it. He's an R&B dude named Young and Lips. I'm trying to get him on it, man. Um, be so dope. Um, the song goes off. I think we got someone who might ask us a question. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, boy. So Jamie, if you're watching, ask us a question. Any any question you can think of. Anything that's gonna make you laugh. Yes. And entertain you. Let me entertain you. Anyway, so I'll play a little little bit of this and we'll get into answering some questions if there's some there. If my system doesn't overload like a like a bitch. And it's playing through my headphones like a dog. Uh, anyway, let's get some questions. Yep, and it's mud. Fuck it. Yeah, buddy. Yo. Come on. We should have like six people watching right now. Let's see. Let's see. We got three. And no questions. That is fucking unfair. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, why you got a system overload on me? It's because it knows this song's lit. God damn it. Whatever. That's all the snippet you're getting anyway. That's good shit. Yeah, I'm really excited about that track. I wanna get this dude young and lips on it, it'd be dope. We got four now. And still no more questions! Are you aboriginal? Yeah, we got one. Um That was before I answered that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not I, I don't have any Aboriginal in me, but uh I've got cousins that have Aboriginal in them, so reckon. Yeah, I got cousins for your Aber, so. Man, I I don't have any Aboriginal in me, but like I'm half I'm half Indian, but my dad was born in Fiji, but he's Indian. My mum is Australia. Well, was was born in Australia, um, and born in Australia, but her family is from all over the place. She has freaking um, she has her her dad has Spanish in him and all that kind of stuff. Her mum has British. Italian, a bit of Chinese, everything, man. <laughs> so like, I'm I'm a mixed fucking bag, basically. Um, although my nan doesn't like to admit that she has Chinese in her. Anyway, um, <laughs> man, we're back down three. What what the fuck is happening? Yo. What happened to me? What time is it? They're acting like it's fucking two in the morning. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's weird how no matter how hard you try, it keeps going. Oh, it's fucking weird. Yeah. That. What, what's weird is what I just fucking did. Anyway, <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. I'm, I'm, this is what happens when I have no ideas to bounce off of. Questions. Yo. Like, I'm, I'm gonna show my ass in a minute because I got nobody talking. We could do covers. We could. But that would in, that, that that would definitely get copyright claimed. And so far we've done nothing in this stream that would get copyright claimed. Mm, true. It's very true. 
Have you ever watched War of the Worlds? No, I haven't. No way. No, I haven't. With Tom Cruise? I haven't. I may have... Uh, no, I've, so I've seen weird. some of it on Facebook. Uh, sorry, not on Facebook. It's on on Twitter. Um, on TV. God damn it. Social media takes over your mind, man. I'm just like, I've seen some of it on Facebook. No, 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 Twitter. No, I mean TV. TV is still a thing, okay? Um, <laughs> Facebook and Twitter aren't the only things. And it's even weird that I would say that. Like, no, not fucking YouTube. But anyway. <laughs> Yeah, no, I haven't seen War of the Worlds. Wow. Mm. It's actually the most classic, original uh, version of Alien Takeover ever. Nice. Yeah, and it's, it's yeah. like the original Alien taking over the world fucking shit. Like, full on, like, these cunts vaporizing human beings, taking everyone the fuck out, and, like, it's... It's, it's fuck it's so good it's actually so good man you have to watch it yeah but aliens has sigourney weaver when she was still a hot redhead but this isn't like that yeah. <laughs> fuck that movie like that's not <laughs> <laughs> these cunts all right so the whole plot right yeah. all right so what happens is these anomalies happen in the weather where it's like Electromagnetic shit's happening and lightning hits the same place like 25 fucking times. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, like the same exact spot and you're like, what the fuck's this? And like, they figure out these, they call them tripods. And it's like these alien mechanisms. Like this? It looks, it looks like that. That's, like, that's literally, it, it, it's the device they, <laughs> it's the device they use, it's vaporizing, it's the device they use to vaporize humans. But the aliens, they go down in the lightning bolts into these machines, but these machines have been under the world, under the uh, surface of the Earth for hundreds, thousands of years. <laughs> millions of years, actually. And it's like they've been planning the takeover for millions of years. And these machines come up from under the fucking ground, and they're like, and they've got the creepiest sounds. They're like, <laughs> Bro, dude, I'll show Jeez. you. This. I have to show you clear. It's just like, hard to explain. It's so good. Yeah, show, show me after stream, because yeah, even, okay. even the sound of a trailer can get copyright claim, you know that? Are you fucking kidding me? Nah, on. not at all. But it's so old, though. Dude, there, okay, so there's people that I've seen, they react to fucking Dr. Phil, and they get copyright claimed because in, like, the, the little scenes where, like, they're talking to the family and stuff, there's music playing underneath that is usually owned by Sony. So they get copyright claim for that shit too. That's fucked up. Yeah. It's like, ugh, everybody's just about making money and they don't want other people to strive. Like, yeah, I want to make money too. But if, so like, yeah, okay, I, I put content ID on my music when I put it up on, on uh, Apple Music and all that kind of stuff through DistroKid. But if a reactor was to message me and be like, hey, I reacted to your song, do you mind green lighting my video? 100% bro. Make your money. Not only that, you're bringing me to a new audience as well, so I appreciate you doing that. Yeah. So like, and plus like, I'm a YouTube reactor now as well, so like, I completely understand that. Like, that's, that's why like, I have so much respect for KSI, because KSI's music, he has fucking Lil Pump, Smoke Perp, Offset from Migos, fucking Rick Ross, Lil Baby on his music. He does not copyright claim any of his music on YouTube. At all. Now, imagine how much money th even those big artists are probably losing because of that. And he's just like, fuck it. I'm not copyright claiming people's videos because I want people to react to it. That that gets me views too. Like, that's why I have respect for KSI in that way. Mm. We went down to one, now we're up to two again. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? I want to show you the trailer so fucking bad. We can. Let's cross stream. We should we finish up the stream. We can't. Yeah, let's fuck it. Fuck it. Let's finish it. Yeah. All right. KSI is cringe. He he is sometimes, but uh, I have respect I for him as a human being. I I have respect for him as a human being and as as not so much as a musician as in like I like all of his music. Well, he's I not don't. a musician because he dives into too much shit to just be well, called yeah. a musician. Yes. 
So like, like he's a bit of a fucking, uh, fucking milk the camel sort of cunt. Yeah. So like, but I I have respect for him as a human being, and also what he's done with his, with his music as well, because that shit still isn't easy, and like to go from yeah. to go from being like this this guy on YouTube playing fucking FIFA to be a fucking multi-millionaire fucking um music well artist releasing music with Rick Ross, Lil Baby, Lil Pump Smoke Perp, no matter how you feel about those artists, they have big names. For them to even say yes, that's pretty dope. And that's how I look at it. For what some people with a micro penis. They like literally if alright. If you stab that If you have a micro penis and you're watching live you're all good. Just don't ever show a woman. Don't ever have sex. Stay virgin. Hey, but if I had one, I would kill myself. That's just my fucking thing. If you have a micro penis and you hit that clip right, you might be okay. Basically, like. <laughs> right, honestly, let's be real. It right all now. comes down to how you use it and this how you get it. This is real advice from Sci-Fi. If you got a micro dick, you ain't pleasing no bitch, and you should stay virgin and never show anybody that shit ever. Sorry. Sorry, but, think but of, think that's your, your only option because if you show someone, you're going to be so humiliated. Yes, 100%. Yeah. And, but, uh, yeah. but the way that I think about it is think about think about how the tip of a tongue can can pleasure a woman's clit like that. But you've got to never show her your penis and that's pretty difficult, isn't it? Yeah, but that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that think about how small the tip of your tongue is. And that, that can pleasure a woman's clit. But it's different because they know if your penis is small, they're not going to enjoy it because they're just imagining your tiny penis. Yeah, but they can't... It's all about visuals. Not real. Yeah, but it can, is, though. Can they always see it when it's going in? No, not always. No, but they're visualising it. That's why it's like... Yeah. Like, these guys with giant dits in porno videos, they aren't going that far in. They're going, like, three inches in. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But 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 <laughs> they're enjoying it more. That like someone with a three inch dick realistically could do the same exact thing these guys are doing. But yeah. the thing is, they're enjoying it so much more because they know that the guys will be dicking and visualizing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if they it's go, it's all about visuals. And if they go too much further, they'll be hitting them in the mammary glands. But anyway, <laughs> but <it's, laughs> people are superficial this way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They are. They just are. Like they are. It's a superficial thing. It's, you're too scared to finish the stream. I go. I reckon go for another seven hours. I busted on bitches' muddy holes. Wow. Wow. Um, no. No, I'm not too scared to finish the, the stream. Um, you, you could say that the old me would've, but guess what? The old me wouldn't have, because the old me was a fame whore. Now, I'm like, I don't care about the fame. I just do what I do, and if you like it, you like it, and if you don't, then you can fuck off, alright, okay, anyway, <laughs> I don't even know what this whole shit was, but anyway, um, <laughs> so, alright, so I, I think we're going to end this here, alright, so, Cypher, follow him on Cypher Music, uh, Cypher Music AU on Facebook, is it? Yes, Cypher Music AU on Facebook, Cypher Music on YouTube, Go and check him out, man. Uh, Cypher AU on Twitter, I believe, as well. Um, yeah. Cypher Music AU on Instagram, I believe. Um, either way, look up Cypher. You will find him. You know what this guy looks like. You will find him. Um, <laughs> now, me, go, f go follow me on follow me on Facebook on this page, uh, facebook.com slash jaden.jesse. Um, Instagram, jadenjesse. Uh... Twitter, Jaden underscore Jesse. Um, man, we we out here. We release some music. I, I got my Switching Up remix coming soon with a very special guest. Uh, Ryan's got the Hibernation mixtape coming out very, very soon. Three days! Three days! I'm on that shit! How the fuck? Anyway, <laughs> um, so keep an eye out for that, man. I will definitely be posting it. Ryan will definitely be posting it. Keep up on both of our socials, and we will definitely be posting it. We'll be promoting the hell out of that shit. All right? Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Stay home. Peace.